Hello. Hello. Incoming. <laughs> Incoming. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Oh my goodness, it's been so long. Mm -hmm. It has been Truly. so long since. Epic <laughs> amount of time. Any thank session. you to Haraya, thank you to Maka, What's thank you to happened? V. Thank you for Oh, thank you all so much. Thank you for support us. You make sure that we can continue to chaos for you. <laughs> um, hi! Wow! Oh my god! God damn! Oh my curse! Gee! Oh my curse! Oh my god! Thank you for the love! V, thank you so much for the 5k yum yums. Freaking Scorpio, 300 yum yums. Oh my lord. My eyes oh my gosh. Without any. People That's want to so find out what happens when we hit level 5 hype train. <laughs> <laughs> Already level four, almost five. Oh my god! Oh no! Oh, no. Ooh, well, oh my I god! Guess, uh, I can't believe Lantis is canon now. <laughs> <laughs> here's here's the thing, Rubes. Lantis was already canon. Oh. Um. B, thank you again. Thank the you. Dragon, right? Thank you. Thank you. That's it. This is level five, right? We're here. Um. <laughs> Everyone in chat, pick a number between 1 and 20. Oh, God. V, oh, my God. Oh, oh God. Jesus. Oh, Please do not bankrupt yourselves, but thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yes, I am ordering pizza tonight. <laughs> <laughs> hey. right, no dog four. food for JC tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Upgrading to oh. cat food. Oh, hold on. <laughs> Going from dry food, food to wet food. Oh, no, 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 no. dry food to wet food. There you go. <laughs> Another mind Thank player. <laughs> no. Oh, we'll see. Um, but hello, lovelies. We hope you are doing well today. <coughs> Jesus. We hope you. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't ready for that. We hope you are doing. I can just hear even more. I've got my proper voice recordy headphones on today, so everything is just extra. Um, <laughs> Hannibal Lecter. Um, welcome. It is so good to see you all. Um, happy Wednesday. Uh, how y'all doing? Hope you're doing well. Oh my goodness, what we are now? Holy hey, thank you so much. I think we just hit level seven. Oh. So that's how many mind flayers we're summoning, right? Seven mind flayers. <laughs> guess, guess some more. Guess some more be numbers between one and twenty in chat, everybody. Let's see what happens. Start <laughs> Um, and also, uh, I think because V has contributed so much, heads or tails, V. Heads will be a good thing. <laughs> Tails. Heads. Okay, heads will be a good thing. Tails. He less said so. head. Yep, heads is Ludo good. Ludo serenade for Umberlie. Oh, jeez. <gasps> Couldn't make it that as a wise Get man. Get rid of. The... <laughs> Get rid of the J. Get rid of the J. <laughs> oh. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> the coin has flipped. I go for that. <laughs> uh, I'm removing the J. Thank you, Roxy. Okay, I've got some numbers. I will do numbers at some point. Um, do you want to know if it's good or bad? Yes. Cool. Thanks. Um, right. So today we have our usual <laughs> cast. Ah. Of just want to hear that, that <laughs> scream again. Um, <laughs> usual, usual breakfast club, unfortunately, minus the wonderful Danny, who has been um, metaphorically and IRL ripped back to the Feywild for corporate life. Um, gone but never forgotten and never truly gone. Wow, my Pam goodness! Tam, thank, oh my you. Well. thank you! Thank you, Pam! Pam. I'll for the legendary Damn. Tarquin. Okay, when I'm Damn. when we're splitting funds, I'll make sure that specifically goes only to <laughs> to the Darian Dario Volantis fund. 
<laughs> all three of us are very grateful. Thank you. <laughs> no, we gotta give all of it to Goob. Goob Goob's, Goob's got a gun against our heads, man. We gotta give all of it to Goob. Um... But yes, thank you for supporting uh, this project. It very much means the world. And yes, uh, we will. So who are we going to start with today? Who wants to go first? Who wants to introduce themselves first? Let's Can I go first? I never went up. first, so I want oh to change. Oh my god! Things. Of course. <laughs> Please I just do. Just want to make this chaotic from the start. First, yeah, of course. First off, we that have the carefully. legendary. <laughs> Tarquin is played by Darian Audio with an N and yes. not Volantis. There All we right. go. We did it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hello, everyone. I'm Darian, so everything is going to be fine. Don't worry. And I'm happy to be here with all of you. And, Yay. of course, I'll be playing the part of Tarquin, who everyone, and I mean everyone, knows who he is. <laughs> so, roll in the dice no now, boss. Oh, my God. Everyone in chat, roll. For knowledge and those who who fails are banned forever. I rolled so. I rolled a four, but if you think about it, oh my uh, god! If you, if you Bikey. Think, if you think about it, I got but I got the name right. <laughs> but if you think about it, that doesn't mean I don't know who Tarquin is. Like I've heard of Tarquin. Maybe I just my soul. I feel like I know who Tarquin is, but Tarquin isn't who I think. Tarquinas. Or that well, they are, but that's just what I think, which is why I got a four. <laughs> uh, uh, you're safe, you're safe, don't worry. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Narrative my way out of it. Um, who would like to go next? Can I go next? No. Yeah, of okay. course. Oh. Next up. <laughs> I couldn't, I'm sorry! Next up, we have the ever-wonderful, ever-amazing Rubes playing the wonderful Camellia from the Feywilds. <laughs> Hello, Camellia. Hello, I'm Rubes. I play Camellia, the Sensator Ranger, and I'm here to tell y'all that gaslighting isn't real. It isn't. It's not. It's not. It's not? It's not. Oh. I mean, what even is gaslighting? Yeah, exactly. Like yeah. You... What's what? Yeah. When you saw lighter. That's not even a word. Mm -hmm. Don't know what you mean. Um, amazing. <laughs> Who would like to go next? Time would. <laughs> I feel like you're just. Ooh. I I feel like you've accidentally been last a lot, Ludo, when it's come to some of our uh, more subject-based decisions of who's going first or last. Hello, I'm JC, <laughs> aka Cardlin Audio, <laughs> aka Ludo, <laughs> aka it's me. It's my turn. Welcome to my channel. Thanks for being here. Thanks for watching us play the oh D's and God. D's. Uh, for those of you who saw things happen during yesterday's mini episode, no, you didn't. <laughs> and nothing happened, and everyone is safe, and it's fine. Yeah, yeah we went shopping. <laughs> Thank you for cutting me off. That was perfect timing. Um, <laughs> legitimately, it needed to happen. Uh, it is very warm here. And last, but by no means least, we have the man, the myth. The stairs. <laughs> we have. Oh my god, I love those so much. That's so perfect. Uh, we have the wonderful dime package playing Bivon. Hello, dime. Hello, Bivon. I'm still gonna die of the mind flare. <laughs> <Yeah. I'm... laughs> oh I'm. I'll be god. playing Destiny Echoes at the World Series of Poker for Bitcoin. <laughs> <laughs> America's got talent. It's hot. <laughs> bye bye. Oh, Dime's brain is fried right now. Oh, send all your cool air Dime's way. <laughs> that, that was that. Wow, wow, what an introduction. Um, one that I cannot live up to. Um, but hi, I'm Key. Um, hi, Key. I. I, Becky. Hi, hi guys. <laughs> hi guys. Um, are there one or two eyes in my name? Oh, 
Um, but what I do know is that I have a weird fizzy mango drink that didn't taste good, and then I have a lukewarm fruit juice that also didn't taste great, and I have mixed them both, and we'll see what fucking happens. No, that um, never works. Do it now. <laughs> do it now. Do it now? Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah, hang on. Oh? <laughs> she said Ayo. I'm having a kombucha girl moment. That ain't bad. Hey. Sometimes two wrongs make a right. No. Sometimes four wrongs make a D and D team. Hey. Tales of the Torn Veil. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Segways for days. Here's the thing: there's five. There's five of us, including you. Which one's the? I'm the right one. I'm the wrong one. I was no, the wrong the right one all along. To that. Uh... <laughs> all right, let's uh, let's open up the monster manual. <laughs> v, thank you. Ah, oh, heck. Um, is that gonna help me? No, it's not actually. Where's my book gone? I don't know where my book we is. We keep it and moving today. Mm -hmm. I don't know where the book is. Where's the fucking book? Oh, it's right there. Volo! Stop moving the freaking book, sir. Alright, page 94. The question is... Friend or foe? <laughs> oh, it's a weird page. It, it's just, it's just a page of, of rando, rando volo law. So I'll go from the back, ninety-four pages. Uh, was two hundred and twenty-three, two hundred and twenty-four minus. Two hundred. Where's my phone? Two hundred. I'm doing the the thing because people gave us money. Two two four minus nine four. No. Two two four minus nine four equals. One thirty. Yeah. That's the one. You don't gotta use a calculator. I'm Asian. Oh my god! <laughs> Just tell me the numbers, I tell you the numbers. But why, why then did I have to figure out how much water your fridge of holding could hold? Mm. 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 Okay, I don't know what to do with that information. Okay, we'll I'm see. so confused now. <laughs> well, every I told everyone. In I really to like math, number. but I'm not that crazy about seafood. <laughs> okay, and on that bombshell, should we should we get going? What is it? Get started. What oh, is what? the thing? The thing you rolled. What, what? is it? A dice. Mm hmm. We get a hint, a hint. A little hinty hint. Hmm. Uh, as, like if it's a dragon you could say you better hoard your good rolls uh -huh. no please right. keep going keep your I'm keep your rolls to scale uh -huh. oh oh um uh, we're gonna die uh friggin you better rock when Shasa when your... I'm... <laughs> when I'm done with you, you ain't gonna have a leg to stand on. <gasps> it's a thing with legs. <gasps> it, could be, it, could be, it could be anything. It could be anything. Um, thing with no not a legs. fish. A lot of winks. A lot of winks. What doesn't have legs? Mimics don't have legs. Usually. And on that bombshell, uh, we shall... Uh get in to today's session right. of Tales of the Tommy. <laughs> so, last time, <laughs> oh boy, <laughs> a couple things happened. Um, 
As we all know, the group have made their way to Junhua for two reasons. Neither uh, have been accomplished uh, yet. <laughs> um, <laughs> the airship crew are having to buy more and more rations as the days go by. However, many things have been accomplished, uh, including the uh, finding and, I think, very uh, moral uh, acquisitioning of some tickets to the Opera House in Genoa for a performance by none other than famous bard Kentigeneste Abelard. Um, Love that guy. Heck yeah, what a wonderful guy. And it turned out, it turned out on their VIP meet and greet from their very morally acquired uh, tickets, mm -hmm. that indeed Umbalai had met Kentigeneste before. And the two had quite a, a, a chemistry betwixt them. Uh, uh, which... <laughs> I like chemistry, too. Mm, yes, very, mu very much so. Um, and, of course, this meant that Luto was happier than he'd ever been before and mm. more s stable and confident in his relationship than he had been previously. Yep. However... Uh, after some suspicious conversations between the two, our dear Bifon and his uh, little um, group of group of friends from the sanctuary, the brothel at which the group is staying, decided to go on a little a little sneak sneak, see if they could overhear some of the com the conversation, and upon speaking briefly to Umbalai after, discovered that Umbalai was only playing up to his flirtations in the name of revenge. A uh, humiliation upon his own stage and whatnot. However, dear Luto, her dear, dearest Luto baby cheeks, um, was not the best at poker facing or keeping secrets. And so bringing him into the plan would potentially only scupper the plan uh, and so Bifon set about his own plan of uh, carrying <laughs> uh, carry i.e. ing uh, Kentaganasta with uh, some purple paint and glitter when the moment struck uh, in the meantime uh, Danny the Dapper Dwarf who's been here the whole time uh, he was told of a powerful artifact that Kent Ganasta was keeping and asked the rest of his crew to go and find it. So Camellia and Tarquin went off while Ludo and Luca were getting nice and nice and bubbled up at the bar and uh, unfortunately uh, were turned around at the first hurdle due to Kent Ganasta's uh, wonderful charm. Uh, completely distracting them from their mission uh, in a beautiful, a beautiful scene. Uh, <laughs> and um, their second attempt took place during the opera itself, where one heist was lying in wait, ready to be triggered, and the other was undertaken in real time. Fucking awesome. It was great. Go check it out if you haven't. Uh, I'm not doing it as much justice as these guys did on the day. So during the opera itself, Camellia and Tarquin snuck back down to Kentigenaste's uh, dressing room and were able to find a menagerie of musical instruments, including a tin whistle, maracas, cannot forget the maracas, and a magical flute, which at the time I did not realize the, the pun. Um, uh, uh, now, like, once the session was over, I was like, oh, my brain did a thing. A uh, magic flute is an opera. It's an opera. Ah. Anyway, but they found... <laughs> they found the magical flute, the artifact that, indeed, Mr. Danny the Dapper Dwarf had been after. And thankfully, he at this point was able to join in the heist and distract one of the guards at the door before himself just going and hanging out backstage um, in the very Danny the Dapper Dwarf fashion. 
So once everyone except Danny had come back to their seats and the pinnacle of the play uh, was reached, a proposal took place, a trap was triggered and a fight ensued. The group were able to take down a vast majority of the guards in the theatre itself, uh, beef on running to go and get uh, our lovely boy Angus and crash the cart into the front of the opera house um, before stopping uh, Kentaganaste from escaping with new newly sprung wings. We had Ludo getting real big and thwonking people. Tarquin was just cutting up a guard really bad with his fists. Um, Camellia was having a jewel off, <laughs> ranged jewel off with some of the guards. <laughs> Um, and da Danny the Dapper Dwarf was hidden, hiding behind a curtain, uh, gaslighting uh, a guard with a knife. So, before ki bludgeoning him to death with an abacus. Incredible scenes. And, thankfully, they were able to apprehend Kentakadastea and decided for the evening, for the sake of getting some rest and recovering, uh, locked him in a trunk in his dressing room to come and deal with once Umbalai had decided what to do with him. And so the group returned back for the evening, back to Sanctuary, back to their beloved brothel. And that is where we will begin tonight's session of Tales of the Dummy! Hey! I didn't time the music good this time, but that's okay. So, uh, where we resume, uh, Luto and Umbalai have just had their beautiful heart-to-heart. -heart. Uh, Umbalai revealing the truth behind her feelings, uh, her difficulty with those feelings. I forgot to say hi to everyone in chat. We'll do that at the break. Hi, everyone in chat. Sorry, there's a brain. I haven't got one. But hi, we love you. Uh, <laughs> um, and uh, she indeed also revealed with Ludo's wonderful Nat 20 insight check that the opera that had been put on that he and Luca were enjoying thoroughly and crying through and watching was based on a real life event for Umbalai which only complicated her feelings more and also questioned what the fuck uh, indeed Kent Kanasa had been doing to get that information. Um, but indeed, she revealed all of this. Uh, and the two, I assume, uh, went uh, thusly to their, to their chambers for the night. <laughs> uh, unless I am wrong. Feel free to correct me. No, I did for sex. All right. Wonderful. Um, so, it is still that evening um, before our uh, shopping spree the morning after. So, would anyone else like to do anything the same evening after the fight at the Opera House? No is a valid answer. Yes is a valid answer. It is up to you guys. Now. I guess I on the way of the dark. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I am what scared you... of the night. I don't want to go to sleep. <laughs> 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 Did you want to um, recruit a watcher again this evening, or? I would, but it didn't work. So mm. it's no point. Make an insight or a perception check for me, please, Tarquin. Uh, Bifon, what did you, what would you, what were you about to say, sorry? Oh, as we're going back to the room, Bifon, um, asks of his, his, his side quest party, the, mm -hmm. who's in that room? Oh, at room Pointing 69. To room 69 down the hall. Oh, um, that room is, uh, it's private. <laughs> it's not particularly any single person's room, but it is, a. Uh, it is a room 
mostly meant for the mistress of the house. <gasps> See, I was thinking like that was like a special room that had pools or something in it that we could make of some use. Oh. Speaking of using people, I'm going to go in the room if you guys would like to. Uh, they're already just like all hanging on to an arm if you've got one or just, <laughs> just ready to go. Yeah, it was a really exciting evening. I think it would be good to uh, celebrate it appropriately. Yeah, I don't think and... I've ever uh, done anything after a heist before. That's quite Wait, you've heisted before? Oh, no. I mean, I've done, you know, bedroom stuff, but I've not done it after a heist before. You've done a heist before? No. Okay. <laughs> no, nothing so exciting. Although there uh, was this was one just... guy who wanted me to pretend that, you know, I was breaking into his house and stuff, but... Slightly different, I think. Is that a euphemism? No, actually, no. It was just a peculiar request, yeah. Mm. Okay. You guys we can were do wonderful. that if you like. I can... No, no, no. It's a... I'm more curious as to what the three of you like. Oh, don't you worry about that. We, uh... We've hung out with you enough of the day to know exactly what we're about to... Well, maybe what we're about to receive, but we know it'll be good either way. But yes, I'm also a giver, though. Hmm. It's good for me. That's all I need to hear. Shall we? Or did you sure. want us to go and get some equipment as well? Whatever you wish. You know, I go get a couple of things. You guys head in. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, she will come back with a variety of um, machinations uh, to enhance the fade to black experiences. Um, and it is a thoroughly joyful and wonderful time for all involved. Um, Tarquin with 19 inside. Let's go. Okay. Um, you see, sitting at um, one of the corner tables in the lounge, kind of not too far from uh, where Three and uh, Friends and Winnie have been chilling, um, you see them all trying to figure out how to play a two-person uh, card game between three of them. Uh, <laughs> uh, you see, you see a woman that you've seen around a bit, but she hasn't particularly spoken to anyone um, that you've noticed. Um, she's kind of uh, very much. Um, she's the uh, she's the woman that looks like she could be an extra from the Titanic uh, film set, <laughs> kind of very, oh, very elegant fancy. pastel. Yeah, kind of very. Um, early uh, 1900s outfit, a big floppy hat, and just kind of keeping to herself, uh, rummaging some cards through her hands. And she catches your eye for the first time. Kind of in a way of you're not sure why you've not particularly noticed her before, but also you know, with with nightmares, um, and uh, a distinct concern of sleeping there, there is an air of comfortability about her. Not necessarily in a, in a sexual way, necessarily, but maybe for Tarquin, that is how it uh, manifests. That is oh. entirely <laughs> up to you. <laughs> All right. That's, that piqued my curiosity, so... I would like yeah. to introduce myself. Okay. You head on over. She's kind of rustling through her cards. Doesn't particularly immediately notice. Hello. Good evening. Hmm. Good evening, silver-haired one. Oh, I'm I... glad you noticed. Hmm. It is a good look on you. Oh, I'm gonna do a roll! 
<laughs> we all know what that means, but <laughs> let's see if he dies, he survives. What happens? <laughs> okay, okay. You are uh, the one who has trouble sleeping, right? Oh, how did you know that? Uh, mostly people <laughs> recognize me because of my heroic deeds, but uh, you noticed me because of the nightmares. Well, it helps for a mistress to know what her girls are doing of an evening. Oh, so, um, what do you know about that? About all these strange things that happen at night? I really need help, and if you can give that to me, I would be eternally grateful. Oh, well, there are a lot of things that go bump in the night, darling. And more so than just headboards. Though, that is what one would expect in an establishment like this. Have you ever had your cards read before? Uh, no, no. I use cards for gambling, but not for fortune teller. <laughs> would you consider? Sure, yes. Let's see okay. what, uh, what the cards say. That sounds good. <laughs> Y'all in chat, my goodness. Um, <laughs> so, if you could for me, pick yes. three numbers between one and... Let me get my... Where is my card list? 23. So three cards for me, please. I'll give them a shuffle. <laughs> All right, let's do 11, 22, and 33. Okay. Because it sounds fun. Oh, it's between 1 and 23, sorry, not 33. Oh. Then it's going to be 1, 11, and 22. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And 22 is easier because I just skip one at the back. Ha <laughs> ha! Okay. They have been drawn and I will flip them as they have been drawn. Ooh, it's exciting! Alright, that's key, not, not her. Oh, my apologies. Where are my manners? Mistress Nerimal. Pleasure to meet you officially. A lovely name. Enchanted <laughs> to meet you. Oh, you don't meet many from Neil in these parts. Do you hail mm. from there? Oh yes, uh, it's it's strange to meet people from where I come from in in these parts of the world. I rarely meet them. Hmm. Well, there are maybe more of us than you would know. We are fairies. She flips over the first card. <laughs> okay. Uh, let me get my notes. <laughs> <laughs> um, you see on this card is a picture of a kind of a gentle, kind of quite cold um, grass and flora. Um kind of wrapping and surrounding uh, a gravestone. Ah, uh, the grave. Fear not, it's not always a case of merely death or something to be concerned about. The grave can be some kind of passing on or remembrance or an epitaph. I, I would see. imagine for someone having that maze, it might be something from your past or your memories that are haunting you. Yes, uh, believe it or not, it is quite accurate. Hmm. Well, that is interesting. We'll see what the rest of your cards read and see if any guidance can be found. 
Holy yes, please. Fuck these cards, man. <laughs> I don't know what <laughs> I've done. I don't know what I've done. I'm. <laughs> Need to this is really spooky, sage. you know, because I need it's... to sage this room. I shit you not. Oh my god. <clears throat> she, fl <laughs> she, she flips over the second card, which is um, you see um, what appears to be a singer who is hesitating. No sound seemingly coming out from them. The last song. Uh, we are already seeing a theme, my friend. The last song is a card very much uh, tired in twain with the grave, depending on what messages you are finding. When I asked if your troubles were memory based, I believe that is just the surface, correct? Yes. So, what kind of meaning does this have? <laughs> the last song. When you are given the cards, they are given three or so base meanings, right? So, the moon could be, uh, in some decks, it can mean darkness, fertility, and hope. Three different but thematic meanings towards whatever that object or theme is, and those can connect with the person reading the cards, or the person who is being read for. The Lost Song's three key meanings are memory, nostalgia, and talent. You spoke of your heroic deeds, and you spoke of your troubles sleeping. Something intrinsically within you is tied betwixt those. It is rare to see such congruency between the cards. Usually it is like a... The most melodic of tunes, you know? Where you don't quite hear what the melody is, you hear the notes around it. And from that, you can pick out what the melody might be. Your cards are your melody. It is rare for them to be so direct. Yes, it seems like the cards are reading me instead of us reading them. It's... That is what they do. This is a meaningful deck. The third card, also straight, is the Jeweling Harps. Now, though there is musical connotations between the last two, that is not so much the contingent meaning here. She kind of tilts her head to the side. The jewel in harps can represent chemistry. I don't think that is a theme we are seeing here. However, it also represents harmony and rising to a challenge. That is profound indeed, my friend. Yes, but I think I understand. Perhaps this is all a challenge I must overcome. Perhaps. Is that what they mean to you? I think so, yes. It, it, it is not easy to 
you know, wake up the next day and try not to think about this, but perhaps uh, it is a way to become stronger. Not just physically, because uh, you can tell no, no, I am super strong, but uh, mentally as well. I have to become a complete warrior, both mind and body. At least I hope that's the case. I don't disagree. And from what the cards have said, perhaps your memories are what hold that strength and that power. And only once when you are in harmony with them all, instead of discordance, which is why you might be struggling to sleep, might you find your true potential and move away from the grave. So you think that instead of trying to run away, I should embrace them, right? I think they are part of you whether you know it or not. Nostalgia, memory... We don't necessarily have an effect over them. Over what they are, over what happens to us. But what we do have an effect over is how we grow from that. Who we become from them. And with your melody and the harmony of the memories. Only then will you find your song. And uh, hollow. It is... I... I think I understand what I have to do, but it is not an easy path to follow. It is not. The grave is a fear we all have, symbolically. The lost song is a story we would tell but just can't quite reach. And the jeweling harps is fighting to overcome something we have no control over. Those can be as much a part of your journey. But the cards would not hint to a fate you are unable to reach. Well, I guess... Uh... I'll just have to face it, and see what comes out of it. She kind of nods gently. Trinkets kind of gently tingling against each other. I hope that was of some help, Tarquin. Yes, uh, thank you, and I'm glad you know my name. <laughs> Again, I've seen the book in, you know. The book in Tome helps to know who your clients are. Oh, I am right, right, huh? <laughs> well, I, I, am, I am incredibly surprised. I never thought that reading cards was going to be so revealing. It is uh, surprising. Again, it is rare they are so concise with their thoughts. Sometimes it can take a lot more of an abstract interpretation but those are some of the most apt readings I have ever had for a person mm, so yes. uh, it is it a new experience for our, us both it was certainly uh, incredible for me and you gave me a lot to think about so I appreciate this I hope that helps and I we have so some too. extra <laughs> We have some extra plush pillows, should you need them as well. Ah, uh, well, with your rest. I usually rest uh, meditating, so, you know, I don't use the bed as often as other people do. That is fair. Well, I bid you adieu. I wish you good night. Thank you, and... If I can ever be of assistance, I would very much like to help out as well. I'll do just that. 
and let you know if anything comes up. She Thank kind you. of stands from the chair and heads over to room 69. You see her unlock nice. it with a small key <laughs> and uh, crack open the door, kind of one last look towards you and heads in. Farewell. And the door closes behind her. What the fuck are these cards? I'm actually a bit scared. That's fucked up. That's so fucking cool. That's so fucked up. <laughs> cry. Somebody could have told me they were working on something like that, but they decided not to. So enjoy your demons, Key. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Sorry, demons, I love you. Fucking hell. I was like, ooh. (laughs) Ooh. Right. Sure, they're nice demons. I'm sure they are. I can join all the rest of them that I have. (laughs) So, Camellia, anything going on for you this fine evening before bedtime? Uh, probably not. Just after the entire evening she's just i want to go to bed valid <laughs> all right any last any last activities before my time other than the fade to blacks that are recurring going once going twice sold okay so let's go back to the chill the chill song um so <laughs> So, you all head to bed for the evening. Um, Or, not immediately to bed for the evening. Um, But you all get your long rest. Except Tarquin, could you roll for me an Arcana? Uh, No, a Wisdom saving throw at advantage, please. Alright. No pressure! That's a 21. Okay, everyone gets a long rest. Yay! Yes, thank you, and- lady. <laughs> and you wake up, you wake up in the morning, and look out there. Um, and you wake up in the morning, or slightly later in the morning, uh, depending. Um, we know that Bifon and Camellia both uh, head out fairly early, but should Tarquin and Bifon want to do anything in the morning? Uh, have a little poot around town if you want to go and buy anything or get up to anything. You certainly may. Mm, I have a question regarding that. Mm, and I'm not sure if I remember correctly, but yeah. there were some weapons make, made for us or being made for us. Yes, and they are back in Ninut. So once uh, you've finished business here, you can all right. head back to the guild hall to potentially get some more um mission intel for where to head next and they will also give you your custom custom shiny things cool cool all right then that's all i don't usually See? use armor so i'm pretty good heck yeah so just chilling chilling at the sanctuary getting some rest and getting some working out um maybe going and brushing angus <laughs> Slight workout and taking some <laughs> creatine for the muscles. <laughs> Hell yeah. Uh, Bifon, is there anything you'd like to do in the morning before the rest of the team gets back? Uh-uh. Okay. Um, Luto. Hello. <laughs> uh, once you uh, return out of um, the oh, when once you return from the uh, shrine of Esamic mm. after your small exploits in town, pretty okay. We're fully into the next town. day. This is yep. Okay, cool. Fully next day, um, kind of late morning. Um. What a weird coincidence. Um, you do <laughs> hear in your mind. <laughs> oh, God. For real? <laughs> yep. <laughs> 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 I, 
I immediately <laughs> see what's happening here. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Ludo, probably from whatever he's doing, immediately falls over. Yep, that's fair. Um, do you look around to see what happened? Yeah, I'm, I'm what? I'm just like on the way back home, right? Yeah, just just walking through the uh, walking through the temple district and uh, just hear this blaring sound in your head. Yeah, it's probably the equivalent of like step, like stepping on a banana peel, and then you know he like props himself back up and looks up. It's like wide eyed. Who did that? What is that? A couple of people kind of look down at you as they carry on walking past. Did you do that? Um, hey. <laughs> Pointing at people as they're walking by. They all just kind of give you a funny look and keep moving on. Uh, you can roll a perception check if you'd like. I would love to roll a perception check. <laughs> Somewhere Camellia is holding a horn going, Oh, that's weird. It's still not making any noise. <laughs> mm -hmm. Eight. Uh, there's got to be someone with a horn around here. Okay, it happened how many times? <laughs> just, just the once. Ah, huh, okay. But it was loud and it was long. Well, he does that thing where he like picks himself oh, up, too. dusts himself off, and like looks around awkwardly. And just like paranoid, like walks, keeps walking, looking over his shoulder. <laughs> uh, you, you kind of uh, bump into someone as you're walking. Just, oh, oh, oh so, sorry. Uh, oh, oh, it, it, it's you from the, um, from the from the air, air, airship port. Um, before you, you see uh, your boy Demblin Vixaris, the uh, little axolotl priest. Uh, that a Viero. A Viero, exactly. Yeah, the one that we all ignored, basically. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Yes. <laughs> Called a nerd, stole his lunch money, and <laughs> went, oh. went to the brothel. <laughs> oh. Fishman, hello. Uh, not, not a, not a fishman. Did you do that horn? What horn? Did you do that horn? Roll an intimidation check at advantage, please. All right. <laughs> he's, only, he's not that tall. It's like five, one. Oh, it's only an eleven. <laughs> Some reason I don't have intimidation anymore. Hold on, let me fix that. Mm. Strange that. Tales of the Horn Veil. <laughs> yeah, I feel like you would you would still you would still have have Yeah, okay. whatever it was before. Well if I did have intimidation like I should have, I just fixed it. Um yeah. it is a thing. It is plus three to that, so fourteen. Okay. Um you see Demlin just kind of jolts backwards a little bit. I need to be so aggressive. I didn't... I don't know what you're talking about. Hmm. Okay. Oh, are you here to pray at the, the Temple of Yero? Oh, no, I already did it to the Temple of... Uh, you see... It's the, uh, it's you, a, you hear a voice in your head. Esamek. Esamek. Uh. <laughs> uh, oh. Why? What's wrong what? with Esamek? Uh, I was just going to ask why you went to Esamek. Well, I needed some kind of powers, and he gave me the powers, so now I got it, so... Well, you know, Viera was an incredibly powerful deity, and all those under their watchful light are blessed. Yeah, I, I was thinking about it. It seemed like too much like, uh, like Viera really likes the rules, right? He really likes law and for people to behave and everybody be good. Uh, 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 speaking as if you're some kind of a, a criminal, 
you're not. <laughs> Their face just kind of drops. Not, not a criminal, are you? Just kind of like flat stares at him. I'm going to go and do my daily prayers. Uh, it's been, uh, I, you know, good day. And then <laughs> heads back towards his temple. Bye, fishman. <laughs> just, just hurries. You can just hear his little flip flops just along the, along the stones as he hurries away. Still no sign of a horn though. Hmm. All right. Well, mostly I've all but forgotten about it at this point, and I'll head back. Okay. I'm more I'm more concerned about how my armor feels really uncomfortable. Feels really heavy. Has yeah, some chafing going on. Weird. Maybe it's because um, it's hot. Could be. Could be. Does Ludo do anything about it? When he gets home, yeah, he intends to take it off entirely. Great. Not home, but like, you know, brothel. Yep. <laughs> Ludo's gonna take all his clothes off when he gets back to the brothel. What? what? Crazy. Never. Um, <laughs> amazing. Uh, Camellia, anything else you are doing whilst in town with Stupid your horn. newly identified horn? Stupid horn doesn't work. Oh, I mean, <laughs> it does technically, but... Eh. I'll see. <laughs> She'll just go back to the brothel. <laughs> and, and okay. The horn. So around midday, um, you would all see each other gathered in the um, in the little the little lounge area of the brothel, um, just kind of uh, gentle milling about from everyone. Um, <laughs> as you all head in, uh, you can see. Um, the bartender guy is just kind of eyeing up Ludo to see if he starts cooking anything, or if he he should start putting something together. Um, and uh, you see that in the corner, uh, three friends and Winnie are all. Um, they've all moved on to some form of D and D version of Jenga. <laughs> they are all playing um, with. Uh, um, uh, I don't know what's different about it. It's just Jenga. <laughs> you said there were three friends. <laughs> three, hey, three, three friends. Three friends. And, uh... <laughs> you just mentioned Winnie, though. Winnie. Oh. Oh. There's so many friends in here. There's so many friends. Um, friends in three and Winnie. I know, it was just joke. Yes. It was very terrible. I'm going to go back. No, no, it was good. I, I was just, I, I was like, yeah, I was like, ah. yes, good. I liked it. <laughs> Three friends. So, you all meet back up uh, for lunch. Um, You can all see that Ludo's looking a little bit, uh, I guess, frazzled. Um kind of looking like his arm is a bit much for him today just slightly uh not weaker but yeah a little, a little bit more uh a little bit more exhausted perhaps um who's uh who's chilling in the brothel right now i would imagine the whole gang um otherwise all the um well most of the regular um, workers are kind of milling about, um, kind of, uh, going between rooms and helping tidy and clean up and get fresh sheets and all of that. Okay. Keep the place running, running smooth. Ludo, as he's walking over, Ludo's probably already, like, undoing his, like, arm clasps, his <laughs> arm plates and whatnot, and probably ends up standing in front of Bifon in, like, T-pose with his back to him. Like, can you help back there, please? can reach with I gotta take up this armor man it's too tight something where exactly I don't see any clasps or anything you look there. in between all those beautiful muscles you'll see there's a tie that is holding the armor on you could please just undo that unzip me 
Oh, under this flap. Oh, okay, gotcha. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. And just, Bifon just, just like slightly <laughs> peels the clasp back, and then it just snaps, and the whole fucking thing opens up. I was gonna say it's like a stripper suit. It just, it just like the one little bit holding all together just <laughs> all comes it's apart. It's like that sound that you hear when you shake like a plastic card. It goes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And it all it all come it all comes off. All right, he uh, stacks all of his armor into one big pile and uh, heads up the stairs. All right. Bifon washes his eyes after <laughs> way too many times seeing this man undressed. <laughs> <laughs> just a little, a little bit extra sweaty. Um, yes. Uh, what's everybody else up to? Washing my eyes. I'm washing your <laughs> eyes. It takes a bit of scrubbing, but uh, soon enough, <laughs> you are recovered. Ludo's gonna come back down to his civvies and uh, probably head back into the kitchen and talk to the group through like the kitchen window while he's cooking up something. Nice. Uh, Umber Lyle very slowly come out. <laughs> oh, still just kind of in her PJs. Mix of civvies and PJs. Okay, I come down the stairs. <sighs> so noisy, Luto. My goodness, I was dreaming and asleep and... Dreaming of who? Can't the Ganaster again? My God. <laughs> she just gives you like an incredulous look. <laughs> just uh... same. <laughs> I'm just laughing. <laughs> Actually, no, I wasn't. I wish I could just repeat him just in my head getting covered in purple paint over and over and over and over and over again. Or being stuffed into that little tr trunk of hit trunk. Why can't I say trunk? There we go. That's a long night. Just kind of slow blinking. <laughs> he still in there? Hmm? In the, is he still in the trunk? Oh, yeah. Oh, I, don't think, I don't think he moved. I haven't decided what to do with him yet. Eh, it's a future problem. Mm. Fair enough. We should probably actually get to doing what we came here to do some point probably yeah, yeah if a man suffocates that's fine yeah honestly don't care that much about him so we gotta go see the lion man or we gotta go for luca to the water place yeah i believe she's uh just gone to scope out um the water side this morning um, yes, those are, those are the things I think we needed to do, no, unless there was anything else. I know you said you wanted to go shopping yesterday, Luto. Yeah, maybe get some clothes. Just walking around in my normal clothes, and you probably need some kind of armor. Why aren't you wearing your regular armor? It's perfectly lovely. It's real it's hot fun. here. It's very hot. Need something lighter. Just squint her eyes. Um, it's quite cool here on account of mountain. Um, <laughs> she's got to roll an inside check. Um, roll a, roll a persuade. I guess it would be a persuasion check. Um, okay. For me, please. Got deception too, but it's the same bonus. Yeah, it would, it would, it would technically be, I think it would be more persuasion than deception. Okie dokie. Because Luda might not have figured out why. <laughs> why his armor is heavy. <laughs> right. 21. Nice. All right. It's like, uh, well, do you think you're coming down with something? 
You feeling well? Has anyone uh, else got a cold or anything? Oh, has Luto eaten anything he's not meant to? Because that fridge is getting quite stinky now. We keep telling him to clean it out every time. <sighs> Work in progress, I see. That is Ludo. Ludo, when was the last time you washed out your fridge? Hmm. Like about the week. That if long. Have, yeah. If you have to think about it, then it's probably time. A week before the vulgar nun. Is there any food in there now? Uh, let's see. He opens it. Actually, uh, no. Oh. Well, we well, there's two big fish left, but I can't imagine. Well, I mean, it is a fridge. They are dead and floating, <laughs> and bit of fish, a uh, bit of fin rot going on. Yeah, wool wool for non feet meat is done. Peanutty sausages have been handed out. There's still four gallons of ocean water. Oh, there's one one pink cupcake. Cupcake twenty six apparently. Or did I give that away? Did I do something with that? Um, no, you kept a couple of cupcakes. Okay. It's floating in the ocean water. <laughs> I mean, it's still floating icing side up, so it might be barely recoverable. There you go. If you want to risk it for a magical cupcake that you stole off of a granny that you incapacitated. Well, whatever I'm cooking now, I'm cooking <laughs> from the brothel stores. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, we'll, we'll, make a, we'll make a day of it. We'll make a fridge cleaning mission. Maybe you want to write the aqueducts. Just dump it all out into the aqueducts. I mean, I can just cast Prestidigitation, darling. Yeah. Huh. Press the digitation. That's the one you used to clean everything? Yes. I've been around you long enough to know that was a spell I should probably learn. He tries it on a little bit of mess he made making his bolognese. <laughs> making lunchtime bolognese. <laughs> Oh, you you have precipitation. I do. <laughs> okay, yeah, it it works and cleans up your bolognese. Neat. <laughs> that is the canon pronunciation in is a very for bolognese <laughs> now. Bolognese. Yeah. When did you get precipitation, Luto? I don't know. I talked to some god and then. He gave me some power, so now I got the prestidigitation. Here you go. And I'm I got a big old tray and I'm handing out bowls of spaghetti. Little Ludo spaghetti <laughs> for him and his friends. Uh Umberlai just looks to the rest of you when he says I've been talking to a god and just kind of <laughs> slowly just cranes her in their ground <laughs> to the group. <laughs> It happens sometimes, yes. It does more often than I realized. Uh, Ludo, which god did you talk to? Uh, his name... Hazel... Hazel Beak? Esamek. Ah, Esamek. Sorry, I take way much, too, way too much fun doing that. <laughs> just a little feathery. Just. He's nice. He's like a giant bird or something with a bunch of eyeballs. I don't know. Everybody roll religion for me, please. Oh, I'm really smart. <laughs> I'm really smarter than me. Um, religion. Okay. God twail. God no twail. Okay, couple twelves. Wee. And we got Camellia. Oh, you did also. I, got I did not see. 14. Okay. Um. 
<laughs> you... <laughs> um... You've all heard of Esamek? Um... You, you would know them to be some kind of celestial coded deity of some sorts. Um, it's, it's most notable because it's not one people kind of frequently talk about uh, having a belief of or kind of worshipping under. Um, it's it's more a case of like, oh yeah, there's there's this little shrine of Esmeric at this place, and there's a shrine of Esmeric at that place, and you'd be like, mommy, does anyone ever actually pray there? It's like, I don't think I've ever seen anyone pray there actually, um, because that's what all of your mums sound like. <laughs> <laughs> the fucked up joke would be, except you, Tarquin, but I feel too bad doing that, so I'm not gonna. Um, I don't know. Kind of... <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Um, yeah. um, adopted mom was like, I, I don't know. Hit, hit harder again. Do it again. Um, I don't know what it's like. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Uh, yes, I can. Um, yeah, it's, it's hard to know much beyond, uh, kind of celestial deity uh really cool statues usually around the shrines um kind of this uh elongated doug jonesy uh winged creature of some sorts uh umbrella looks slightly paler right uh, and why esmic he's uh Grinding out some Parmesan cheese onto her spaghetti. <laughs> uh, you know, I tried a couple of them. There was a rock god, not gonna do anything, useless. Uh, Bieral, still good. I tried this one, Ulf Cole. There's a creepy old lady there. I saw you in the water, of course. And <laughs> then... Uh, I go to this place, Esimek. It's just a statue in an alleyway. But there's a nice little happening lady. She says, Esimek can give you everything you need. And I'm like, oh, okay, good. That's what I need. Um, with your, with all of your pre-existing religion checks, uh, you would know that Ulfkwal is the small kind of sooty moth that approached you after Axolotl fella, uh, when you first arrived. Uh, Vieril is Axolotl fella. And it's like, yeah, of course, of course you passed on him because he sounds super fucking boring. Um, Camellia, the, the, the rock gods ring a slight bell with their cool fucking lore. Um, <laughs> he doesn't give a shit about. Um, I would say with your, uh, with your kind of, um, interest in, uh, this realm, uh, pre coming here, um, you would know that Stalacia and Stalagma are indeed deities of the rocks. Uh, however, uh, some humans uh, and people of this realm find uh, meaning and purpose in the symbology of them, which is that one is a stalagmite and the other is a stalactite. And uh, it's almost as if the imagery is one holding up a hand to the other, reaching up to one, and the other is holding a hand down. Um, and uh, a lot of people go a bit crazy over the rocks, but uh, it's, it's, it's pretty interesting. It's actually a pretty re interesting uh, religion. Um, but you can understand how Luto was like, hmm, rocks, nope. <laughs> um, as, as for uh, Ludo talking about seeing Umberlai in water, no idea with that. Um, and that is about all you got from that small Luto story time. What what do you what do you mean you saw me in the water? Oh, okay. So he settles in, he's got a fork, <laughs> he's like spinning it in his spaghetti, <laughs> and slides himself into the booth where everyone's sitting or whatever. So there I was. I go into a cave because they say that this god can maybe give me what I want. I go into the cave. There's a lady. Very nice. Her name is... 
Santa Don't Alicia. And uh, she tells me... <laughs> you can... Ludo, you can roll a history check to see if you can remember her name. Let's see. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, 13. 13. Yeah, I'd say with a 13, you remember a name. That was like slightly better than average. Yeah. Santi uh, Aprecia. You remember her name is Holith San E. Aprecia. That yes. one. <laughs> um. Unless any players explicitly remember who Holith San E. Aprecia is, please roll a history check for me. Everybody. Everybody. Roll history. Never done so many history and religion roles. Well. I didn't know that was Camellia's last name. Yeah. I just I just saw it right now. How nice. Yeah. I don't, I don't know. That's a two. Oh, uh, Camellia Yeats just didn't have the same. <laughs> <laughs> same ring to it. Mm -hmm. A two for history. Nice. Um, Tarquin. He he made that up. He made that up. <laughs> he, like, her name's probably actually, like, Polly, uh, Polly Tree Sap, mm. and he just, he just was like, oh, the, uh, Holy Sun eat the bridge, you know, like, with Clars and Cobbles and all of that <laughs> nonsense. It's probably something completely different. Uh, be found, be found, a and Camellia, you... Both remember that Mistress Etirin Air of the Guild Halls of Ninut, aka Mistress of the Arcana, aka Boss Lady Kinda, um, mentioned Holith San E. Depresia. But neither of you can quite remember who, why, or how, or in what context. I don't even know if that's one name or two. Mm -hmm. It's four. <laughs> <laughs> I got gotcha. you. It's coming in chat. Whee! San Iti Prisha. Hmm. I like that. So it's four people. <laughs> <laughs> you would think, right? <laughs> Not just the one lady. And then she said, uh, close your eyes. You're in the water. What do you see? And I look in the water, and all the way down there, that's where you were. Umberlai is there, and she's like, Oh, come to me, help me. Oh, no, you're too far away, I only float. She's like, help me, please, or I'm gonna hurt myself with this knife. I'm like, oh my god, and then it's over. The lady said I shouldn't do that, so I left. And then that's when I find the Birdman. Just probably the most incredulous look that she's given you so far. What? Uh, respectfully, uh, what the fuck? I was I... looking for some new power. <laughs> I can't get it, obviously. I gotta ask one of the gods. What's the new... But new power yeah oh yeah this is fun now i'm gonna leave as long as an elf what yeah i was uh talking to amber lie she said oh you know it's sad i'm an elf you're a human you're not gonna last that long so i'm like oh shit better fix that full face palm from amber at this point what? So does no. that mean we're all cursed or just him? Why am I cursed? The Birdman is very nice. He talks in my head, very soft voice. You don't he fuck with life and death. How many face palms have we got going on on the table? I have two. <laughs> <laughs> That's incredible. It's gonna get oh, cold. Oh, dear gods. 
that's incredibly sweet. The, but the inc- meatballs are gonna get cold. <laughs> we, they won't. You have precipitation. You can warm food. Oh. Um. It's, darling. Oh my God. It's a very nice gesture. Thank you. No. <laughs> Now look, I can do this. He casts Mage Hand, and he oh has God. he has the Mage Hand uh, sprinkle some Parmesan into Tarquin's bowl. Look at oh that! Oh my God! Look, it's nice, like a magic. Oh, geez, wow! I, like it. <laughs> I need to talk to the gods as well. This is awesome. No, no, no one else. If we talk to gods, we consult each other. About it beforehand, I think maybe a good idea. Okay, from now on. Maybe a good idea. I'm what? sorry, uh, you seemed very sad during your story, and I was like, you know, I don't want her to be I... sad again. I was, I just. Maybe there could have been more communication before the point of going, oh, what can we do? Oh, well, maybe, maybe gods, and then we can go. Mm, actually, that's a rather terrible idea. Um, I wanted we're... to surprise you. Surprise! Oh, you suddenly did. <laughs> what are we gonna okay, do? next time I gotta talk to a god. I'll tell you guys first. I didn't know it was gonna be Fair. this big of a deal. Should not be a next time. Mm-mm. So. They're gonna make you live as long as an elf does. Yeah. Uh, what are the conditions of that agreement? Uh, I gotta just... They said just be a good guy. And then that's it. I think. Just, just be a good guy. There was no contract, there was no... Your look soul at, is mine. Look, look at this, look at this, look at this. I take uh, a <laughs> candle holder and I karate chop it. Yeah! It's just across the table and across the floor. I break it, you right? Can't, you can't. But, but, I mean... but wait. Mending. <sighs> wow, look at that. Huh? 200 years of that, baby. Can I do a history check to see if I recall any of the... Because I genuinely don't. <laughs> <laughs> he said something about, like, you know, if they don't want to listen mm-hmm. to us, they're not our friends. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was... It, 18. From a from a metagaming perspective, it was purposefully vague. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Whether Ludo picks up on that... Um, maybe in some hindsight with a with an eighteen history, uh, Luna would be like, yeah, well, it was a little bit vague, but like, no, they were like, you know, anyone who uh, you know, doesn't um care to hear you out, um, shouldn't be your friend in the first place. So it's not for them to be a judgy Jason about it. Um, and they said, you know, to have faith, and that. They would have faith in you also, and that they would help you find your way to your goals. He said, I just got to believe in him. He's going to believe in me. He lives in my head now. He always sees everything. And then, you know, we just go see the world together. He just wants to see stuff. Talks in my head, he's like, eh, Samik, wow, scary. Mm-hmm. You guys acting like you don't like your spaghetti. Oh, I like it. It's Thank good. You. Yeah. Look at this, Camilla. Are- Camilla, look. I use Mage Hand to <laughs> fling a meatball across the room into Three's mouth. Uh, friends will try to intercept. Good. <laughs> I have taught him well. Friends will miss. Um, <laughs> three will try to catch. Uh, three misses. Um, Winnie sees it coming. Winnie gets the meatball. Oh, 
big tongue. Just... Ah, I really wanted to eat that. There's more spaghetti in the kitchen, kid. Go get it. Ah, oh, sweet. Thank you. <laughs> Heads off. <laughs> <laughs> Look, you, Luto, you know I love your bolognese, but I'm just trying to figure out what you've gotten yourself into so suddenly. Mm, some people believe in a god. No, that's I do that too. Do 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 you? I mean, I talked to him. I saw him. I saw his very many many eyeballs. Uh, so yeah, yeah, it's fine. Now we're gonna be together forever, baby, huh? I feel like I'm kind of the third wheel at this point. No, it's only you and me. There's nobody else here. I mean, Breakfast I Club. Always be by uh, oh, it's just you and me. He's talking in my head right now. Weird. Uh, okay. Um. Well, I I don't have anything particularly else to add to the um. To, to to this right now what do you guys want to do today <laughs> uh. viaducts help out luca or you want to go look for the the lion man it might be easier to do the viaducts and also i need to go into town to pick something up as well oh good me too Mm -hmm. Please Let's tell me it's not the another day. Lion Man, then. Okay, we're yeah. gonna split up. Well, no, while we're no. out, since Camille has to go and do a thing, and then we'll take care of the viaducts and, you know, rid us of at least one god today. <laughs> Be fun. Are you mad at me? Yes. <laughs> oh. Oh, I told you a long time. I always knew you would do this to us what i do i just have a i just have a new powers now uh-huh be i've been fine. studying magic too i've been reading um practicing not making deals with random beings we <laughs> should try that it's pretty fast look at this poof cast silent image ludo <laughs> oh dancing God. Oh my God. Burning through all your fucking spells. No, these I'm are gonna be on the porch. <laughs> <laughs> I'll meet you there. I'm gonna finish my food. Yeah, I need some sad spaghetti right now. We'll be out in a moment, Bifon. En enjoy the air. Uh, get some for all of us. Hey, Ludo, can you use the, the hand thing one more because I want more cheese? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, sure. Wait, actually, me too. Okay, yeah. Cheese, cheese. Oh, I will flood. I will flood that. Everybody gets cheese, and then I make the silent image into Camellia kissing Tarquin. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Look at that. I can do that whatever. Look at that. I look handsome. <laughs> <laughs> Scarfing down food. Pluto. Okay, fine. You all eat spaghetti in a mix of awkward silence and awkward small talk. Mm. <laughs> Pluto's probably testing out what other spells he has. <laughs> oh. <laughs> he has them. Um, and with that... Uh, after a while, spaghetti is eaten up, I would imagine. Um, the fridge is very just angrily pressed to play on for a while. <laughs> and uh, you all head outside and meet back up with Bifon. Yeah. Shall we, shall we um, 
take the horse or just walk? I think we should walk. I don't disagree. Where did you need to go, Camellia, darling? Uh, there's a blacksmith up the hill that I need to pick something up from. Wonderful. Is it a knife we can, um... Never mind. Actually, it is an, a dagger. Don't tempt me. <laughs> All right, let's 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 go. <laughs> and you will kind of chomp up the hill slightly, um, <laughs> slightly awkwardly. <laughs> um, there is a time for any conversations, but it doesn't take massively long uh, to get up the hill. It is it is uphill. Um, Ludo, you feel very, very free from your, uh, your armor. Yeah, yeah you much nicer. the wind in your sleeves. <laughs> and, uh, the spiritual wings. <laughs> Not at your back, but in the back of your mind. Um, Tark, when you feel refreshed from your, um, first really good night of sleep in a long while. Bifon, how, how, how are we feeling, Bifon? <laughs> Same as every day. <laughs> yeah. I, I kind of always do. I said this a very long time ago. Yeah. I do I do vaguely remember that actually. <laughs> <laughs> Ludo is here to meet every one of our expectations. Uh good mm -hmm. and bad. Um and that's why we love him. Um I'm, I'm just yeah, just enjoying the walk, uh making sure Camelia gets what she needs to get. <laughs> and Camellia, you once again uh, approach the uh, small forge uh, towards the top of the uh, mountainous street and uh, you see the same uh, halfling there just hammering away at something on the forge <laughs> that's me making metal <laughs> sounds <laughs> I have metal things but I could I was just... <laughs> Fun. Fun. <laughs> um yes and uh they see you approaching this time totally forgot the voice i think it was here somewhere hi uh oh you're uh dear dear lady right you came for the uh came for the knife uh yes please uh, i just wanted to pick it up if it's ready all right, I forget. Did you pay before, or was it a? I did. It was about three gold, right? I have the receipt. Pulls out perfect. The paper. Oh, you're all good. I just wanted to make sure. Sometimes we do a delayed payment for return customers, and um, they go round back and collect your uh, beautiful um, orange leather. Uh, leather wrapped around the hilt dagger with a very fancy three um, carved just towards the top of the blade itself towards the hilt nice thank you so there much you, there you go uh, got a couple more friends with you this time huh oh yeah this is my team they got up a bit later than I did no worries kind of this halfling uh very sooty halfling gives you all a all a nod. <laughs> well, uh, if that'll be all, uh, thanks for the business. Does he have armor there too? Um, there's nothing like blatantly out on show, um, but it does have a little sign for uh, crossed swords uh, just by the side of the forge. But you can certainly ask. Hey, sir, do you uh, also make armor? Uh... Yeah, sometimes. What are you looking for? Like, bracers, or...? Uh, thinking something like... I don't know, something light. Move around in it, so they'll be able to do magic. Yeah... Um... I might have some light chain mail. Hold on a sec. Um, you see, like, a kind of um library archive they pull out a large wooden um vertical shelf from the side of the wall the other side of the forge and uh you see some kinds of chain mail kind of half started on there and they're looking at something around the back 
Ooh, light armor. Yeah, it looks like padded leather or studded leather. Yes, those those are the <laughs> those are the options. Uh, <laughs> Uh, of course, I look it up on friggin' D and D Beyond, and they're like, "You mean Mithril?" I'm like, "No." <laughs> are you saying? sure? Yeah. Do you mean Leader Armor? Um, do you mean Xenarj the Hunter? Yes. No. <laughs> Just fucking leather armor, idiot. Um. Oh yeah, we uh we do have some leather armor here. It's pretty basic. Mm. Um they bring it out, um, and it's just some run of the mill light leather armor. Uh no, that's okay. Maybe when you get something maybe when I have time I'll commission something nicer. Gotta look good. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> okay, let's go. Push the push the shelf back in. All right. Have a good day. You too. Uh, Ludo, I know there's other uh, blacksmiths and such near the aqueducts. All right. Let's go see. All right. Um, well, you're heading Aqueduct's way anyway to go and see if you can find Bartimors. Uh, do you prioritize looking for Bartimors or are you looking, um, are you prioritizing an army? We should pr probably keep an eye out for Luca, right? Luca too? Luca said they, uh, she'd buy, she'd buy, yeah. She'd be by the water's side and meet up with you when you were ready. Okay. Be my I was looking her. to go to Bartimaeus because he is our contact. I'm curious as to what they need us to do, especially since we're already getting involved with another, uh, what did you call them, espers or something or other? Yes. The people that we're looking for. Yeah, that's the one. It no, might even uh, be one altars. of the same, for all I know. Altars, oh, it's thank been, you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Might altars even are the gods, one of the, same. Are the people. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so, roll for me, please. A group investigation check. A success will be you find Bartimals. Uh, two su double success, like super, super high result, will be you find Bartimals and an armory. Um, and, uh, Less good results mean you probably get a little bit lost. And when you get lost, there might be a mine flat. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> oh, God, right. Yeah, another <laughs> brain for my collection. <laughs> just, one day you're just going to whip out that brain. It's not a just like, It's what? two. Hey. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. 16, 12, 11. What do we got, Ludo? Ludo by any means. My apologies, we're rolling investigation. Okay. Yes. <laughs> it's just, just text in SMIC. <laughs> 13. It's like, not stop enough it. time for us anymore. <laughs> you play too much. You play too much, SMIC. You play too much. Screw <laughs> you. Um, <laughs> okay. So, with those rolls, I will say we safely find. A Bertomo's Browdreach Wow Lion Min Oh I thought that was picture of lion, it is a picture of bird. Oh well. Um Yeah, this is this is cute music, why not? Okay, so um you kind of make your way along um the kind of southern part of the city, uh along the flats for once, which is quite nice. Uh just uh right next to the massive lake. At the side of the town, uh, the one that you can see on the lovely uh, on a lovely stream screen, um, you're kind of where uh, my name is, effectively, just under there. Um, and uh, you come to see that uh, as you move ahead, there is a part of the 
uh, viaduct where you are effectively underneath the large, the just huge archways of uh, brick um, that begin the kind of growing into the larger structure that go all around uh, the lake kind of just at the point of it getting bigger from the smaller aqueducts in town to the largest um, which is lovely because you've got these massive archways that um, you can see people have set up underneath there are some shacks some food shacks um, you miss any armories unfortunately that are there along the way um but as you make your way along, you do start to hear the sound of what a well, what sounds to be some form of combat, or um, uh, for those more initiated, potentially Tarquin, um, specifically the sound of a sword hitting a training dummy. Ah, is that the sound of a sword hitting a training dummy? <laughs> 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 I love D&D. &D. Oh, it's so fucking silly. Um, <laughs> I had to do it, I'm sorry. No, no, it was great. It was just the perfect, the perfect time. Um, and uh, every now and then you do hear it. Um, that does sound slightly guttural and roarish, if you were to put a word that doesn't exist onto it. Um... You have a feeling you are uh, not far away from your target. And as you round the next kind of large brick pillar, you do indeed see kind of against the backdrop of the lake uh, behind. Uh, you do see a fairly tall Leonin, about 6'5 or so. Um, a quite youngish uh, looking lion head. So maybe kind of teenage to almost adult lion. So kind of a little bit of mane, a little bit of fuzz around the jowls, um, but not like the full Fossa shit going on. Uh, and um, he's wearing kind of a nice um, uh, mixed leather and uh, kind of hammered metal, kind of like those instruments that are all those kind of divoted uh, metal domes, uh, not dissimilar to that. And uh, he is indeed training with a training dummy. And seemingly doesn't notice you all arrive as he is uh, just smacking the shit out of this training dummy. <laughs> oh, hey, Tarquin was right. <laughs> I am always right. <laughs> he'll just, he'll just keep on hitting. <laughs> I don't. I don't think he's. I don't think he's seen us. Hello. Uh, excuse me. No. <sighs> he kind of turns around and sees you all. Um, quite an intense, slightly aggressive lion face. Um, quickly melts to one that is a lot more jovial and relaxed. Oh. <laughs> Hi guys. How's it going? Ah. Oh. I assume you are the lot from the guild hall, right? Kind of smiles with a little fangy smile to the side of his mouth. Yes, uh, we're here to meet with you. Oh, Ace! Ace, amazing! Um, well, uh, so hang on, hang on. I've been practicing names, alright. And he looks at all of you. <laughs> He's gonna try and remember all your names. Um, Lubo. Yeah. Varquin, uh, Tifon, and Pamela. <laughs> I think I nailed it. Perfect. Oh, and uh, um, uh, yeah, no idea. Looks to Umbalai. She just <laughs> <laughs> fully insulted. <laughs> was it right? Was it right? All right. Close enough. Ah. Oh. No, but I don't want to get your names wrong. But if I got them right, then that's all good. 
Do y'all remember my name? That's the question. Bartimus. Oh, you're a smart one, eh? No. <laughs> Well, we're going to get on just perfectly well, isn't it? But uh, <laughs> my name is uh, indeed Bartimaeus Proudreach. It is a pleasure to meet you all. And uh, yeah, I'm going to be one of your requisitionees. Is that a word? I don't know. Is now. And uh, yeah. Cool. I, Guys are real uh, talkative. I forgot what we're supposed to do with this man. Oh, well, I think the idea was that we were gonna meet, which, ding, 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 we've done, right? And then I'll hop on the airship with you when you head back. And, uh, you know, if there's any little bits and bobs you need doing, uh, whether it's like, you know, just shanking a little guy or doing some, you know, if you, if you need like some weapons or something, anything along those lines, you just let me know and, uh, you know, I'll try and do those things for you, save you a bit of time. For a little cut of the profits, of course, but I think that's handled on the guildals and so... It'll be no water directly off your back, kind of thing. Oh. So, anything we need to know about what we're doing in town? Oh, I don't know. I'm, I just live here, so just kind of mostly picking me up. <laughs> um, so the guild gave you no further instruction? No! You're, you're kind of my bosses now! You know? Oh. You're my, my, reg my acquisitions officers. If you need anything done... You know, then uh, you can you can be like, hey, Bartimaeus, you're a cool guy. Uh, we could really use ten pounds of gunpowder for our next mission. You know, uh, but we haven't got time to do it because we need to go and be heroes and stuff. And I'll be like, oh yeah, got you covered. Um, I can be sneaky, kinda. I can smack things real hard. And, um... Bartimus. What? You're a really cool guy. Oh. We need to go to the viaducts. Turns to everyone. What the fuck are we doing here, then? <laughs> I guess we just pick up the lion man, and then we go back home. Is that it? We, sent, we were sent here to pick up this guy? I guess so. Huh. Yeah, I think, I think that was kind of the plan. Our boss lady said that you had something else you needed to do here. So it was kind of like a two birds, one stone situation. Oh, we're going to go uh, do that right now. Yeah. Oh, well, fantastic. Well, you found me, Bartimaeus. Done that. Good job. Huh. Uh, Bartimaeus, I'm very big and round. Agreed? Oh, as long as you're not saying that in a degrading fashion towards yourself, mate, yeah. No, 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 I'm if showing you. If anyone needs me, I'm going to be on the porch again. <laughs> I, I need some kind of leather right. armor, studded leather, padded armor, oh, I've something got like some that. I've you can borrow. It's a bit holy, but don't even worry about it. No, no, it's got to look nice. It's got to fit me. That's your job. We're going to go to the viaducts. Oh. All right. But, well, what's, what's the budget? Uh, let's see here. Which money I got? But... I ain't even ready for this responsibility, you see. It's more than just mean, picking like... me up, isn't it? 50, 50 gold. Make it look real nice. Make it look nice, and you need it today. No, just before we leave, so... When whatever are you planning that'll on be. leaving? Uh... Yeah, I guess today. All right. It's a bit of a time crunch, but... Yeah. We find it. Here's the gold. Then we'll see Thanks. you at the brothel. You know the brothel? 
<laughs> Do I know the brothel? All right. Which one? Uh, it's got a frog and a bird. <laughs> he kind, his face kind of goes to kind of almost kitten-like, uh, just quizzically, just looking around like. Can't say I know that one. It's called the sanctuary. Oh, sanctuary! Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah, not far from a uh, temple district. Yeah, I gotcha. All right. Well, I'll uh, do my best. Usually better at thwacking people, but I can give armor shopping a go. Certainly. All right, well, pleasure to meet you all. And, uh, catch you soon. Thank you. And he just kind of picks up a rucksack and off he goes. <laughs> Bye, beef on! <laughs> As he goes past. Beef on! <laughs> that was it. I knew I was getting something wrong. Very just nice. kind of keeps going. <laughs> It, it's Umbali, by the way. <laughs> oh, he was energetic. Not that I wasn't having a fun time here or anything, but, uh, <laughs> so... They sent us out here to pick a guy up. Yeah, I thought we were supposed to save the world or something. Well... <laughs> from what from what I understood it it, 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 it was um yeah I don't know anymore um I, I'm still just trying to get over the new deity thing um th so th they I think they sent us here with two days of provisions so they weren't expecting us to stay long we got a little distracted had some nice fun times. But Honestly, I I'm about to take up residence and start working at the brothel. Mm. Well, that could be fun. Not um, a bad idea. But, uh... I think they knew that we wanted to come here for Luca, so... They kind of gave us another reason to push us in that direction, so we weren't just doing something purely for... for us. So it was kind of a warm-up task for mission at hand but i i don't know anymore all right so. well let's go do lucas thing and then maybe one last night at the brothel say goodbye have a nice meal get drunk and then tomorrow we go home yes. I heard drunk. Let's okay. go. that's Sounds a good, good idea and so you all head over towards the lake indeed which is where, therefore, we shall take our break in mind. Hey. Sewer level. <laughs> <laughs> wow! Yeah, Ludo's a fucking warlock now, I guess. <laughs> Woo! Yeah. Oh, boy. Just I was talking with Key about it. He wouldn't gentle. have done it. What did you guys do yesterday? Yeah, I basically just nothing. nothing. I just let do anything. <laughs> <laughs> errands yeah just a little um, errand just attended to some chores i had to do yeah like sell my soul to a mysterious god exactly yeah mm. so good um but uh, hello new friends thank you so much for the raid as well yeah Very so many new followers so many new friends we'll be back in Welcome. just like 10 ish minutes uh to go yeah. to the viaducts and uh clean out the fridge Mm -hmm. <laughs> so if you have any questions or any comments or theories or anything leave them in chat i'll be around to answer them and we shall see you in 10 to 15 minutes time for the continuation of what we actually came to junoir for <laughs> <laughs> three yeah. sessions later three or four sessions later <laughs> Quickly, yes. it's big city is big city big city big dreams big whoopsies <laughs> <laughs> all right y'all see you in a bit
knife. Hello. Hello. Oh, the music. It changed. Oh no. What? I'm having a sugar rush. How are y'all doing? <laughs> Um, and because we, uh, me specifically, I forgot, and I was a dummy dum dum. So we're gonna run through really fast, quick fire. I like what we did uh, yesterday. So let's all take it in turns, mm. um, in order of uh, on-screen characters. So Ludo, then well, JC, then Darian, then Dime, then Roops, and then me. <laughs> and we will go through and read people's names from the bottom of chat and go up. Yay! And say hi to everybody. Uh, from the bottom, like, from the past to present, right? Or from present to past? Latest, oh. uh, latest one to oldest? Yeah, one? we can okay. do latest to oldest. Okay. Just go real fast. So, Hello, I'll... Scorpio! Oh, yeah. yeah, go for it. Maybe... Who's next? There you go. There you go. Oh, that me? Yeah, the dude. Literal ad just came on. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Screen just went away. <laughs> what that? Subdue Hughes? Yeah. Hello. Hi, hi, Crystal. Oh. 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 Oh, you guys are so much fun. Where's Crystal? Hi, Crystal. Um. Oh, 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 oh. Wait, what? I'm confused. <laughs> Stop typing while we're looking and <laughs> confusing me! <laughs> Crystal, okay, I'm there. Uh, Rubes, wait, you're here. Um, JC, oh, fuck, sorry. you're also here. Rock, hi, Roxy. <laughs> Hello, Epic Gaming Jams. I apologize for Key. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. So, hi, Pam. I see you. I see you, Pam. Hey. You're over there. Solid 10. D. A. N. D. Nice. Hello, Roper Siler. I hope I pronounced that right. Hello, Rory Kai. Hello, Faco Bear. <laughs> also, hello, Rory Kai. <laughs> also, me. <laughs> and hello, Mandela Jane. Oh, that's a nice name. Everybody? <gasps> Hi, Maka! Hi, Maka! Hi, Maka! Hello, Maka! Maka, hello! Maka, <laughs> I'm waving hi! We are a menace! Mm -hmm. Uh, it's your turn, Rubes. Uh, high flying orc! Did we get them? Thanks for the raid! Yeah, thank you for the raid! Mm -hmm. Did we get a solid 10? We did. Okay. I've already, no, I've already done you and your great name. Uh, hi, <laughs> you were here. <laughs> oh, Miss Franny! Hello! Little oh, Miss. Love Miss you, Franny. Little Miss. <laughs> Hello the lip at the end. <laughs> to Lady Scrub Audio. A woo. I think we got them all. Is there anyone else? <gasps> there David, is. David Lish. Yeah. Vivi. I don't feel like I should be the one to correct people. <laughs> <laughs> we got Pam, right? Yes. Pam Town. Pam Town. Pam Town. I think that's Pam Town. Yeah. I, think that's I can see another one. I think that's all of them. Yeah. Scorpio. Oh, Scorpio. I, hey, Scorpio. That was like the very first one. <laughs> yeah. Was it? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> no, we have to show love for our mods. Indeed. Mod love. Mod love. Thank Mod you, Scorpio. Love. And if we forgot you, you're the specialist in the of them all. Yeah. Okay, now the lurkers. <laughs> <gasps> we see you as a mech. Oh, God. Uh, <laughs> he's immediately regretting it. <laughs> It's fine. He's fine. Mm. Wink, wink, parental caresses. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Game. D D. So <laughs> after meeting up with um, Bath, 
Bartimals, the sometimes Cockney, sometimes Australian, because it's warm in here. Um, <laughs> uh, Leonin, you uh, make your way back round to the kind of uh, background to the lake, and you see once again, not dissimilarly from our lovely stream shot view of the lake next to Jinwa, uh, uh, we see Luca perched. Um, just towards the edge of the lake um, in one of the parkways that approaches the kind of circular layers of ponds that eke down from the mountainside opposite to the city itself and just seemingly in her own world just taking in the calm and yeah, the tranquility of uh, being outside of the city in the the hubbub, or as friends would say, the hubbub. Um, I've rolled my eyes at myself while I was saying that, uh, but I have no regrets. <laughs> and uh, you all see her kind of in this small little park area. What would you all like to do? And I walk over to Luca and say, Are you ready for this? Oh, um, hi, everyone. Uh, no. Oh, let's go. <laughs> well, 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 um, <clears throat> well, I don't know what's going to happen. Right? Is it? Is it all gonna be okay? I'm just. I just. I'm not getting cold feet. Of course, I have. I have faith in our, our my lady. Even if you know she's not a f full, proper, quote unquote, real deity. You know, I, I still believe in her and and have faith in her. And I just. Uh... It's gonna be okay. Yeah, no matter what happens, everything's going to be all right, you know. Uh, just now, people are saying maybe don't trust gods, apparently. But, uh, you know, even if something bad happens, whatever, we'll fix it. That's what we do, right? Mm. We're here for yes. you. Okay. Thank you. I mean, I guess... Worst case scenario, I just die again, but it would be weird for me to die and then in order to uh, thank the lady for reviving me, we then come here and then I die again. Like, that would be weird, right? That would be weird. That oh, would be shit. Maybe you get to live another couple of hundred years and suddenly are granted new powers. That could happen as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, I'm I'm just a human though, so probably not. I can yeah, fix that. Humans should live a normal amount of human time, right? Hmm. Or longer, you know, if they wanna. <laughs> or you know, at least discuss it with their friends and family first, maybe. Mm. Yeah, you know, if they wanna surprise somebody with a very nice gesture, I think that's okay too. I feel like Are you surprised, Everly? Different things right now. Anyway, <sighs> we should get going. We can. There's a lot to discuss later. Okay. Um. Are you will... worried about dying? Like, is that something that might happen here? I don't know. I don't know what's gonna happen. Huh. Well. Uh. If you are to die, just want to let everybody know, I can bring them back, but I'll need a 300 gold piece diamond. I don't have that, nor do I have 300 gold piece. Just putting that out there. Okay. So do we go through this passage right here? Just, just um, I, I, um, the, the lady's been saying to me that I should be here somewhere. Do you have Revivify, Ludo? Yeah. I always did. 
That's that's good. You you should. Yeah, but I'm broke, so I don't I don't got the the crystal, but whatever. Oh. Okay. Um. Well, that's comforting. <laughs> All right. Um. So be it then. Uh. Wish me luck. Kind of very nervously. Thumbs up to you guys. Double thumbs up. It'll be fine. Don't worry. <sighs> okay. Um, you see that she kind of approaches the edge of the walkway um, where the grass... Woo, the grass turns to... <laughs> she falls in. Uh, no, <laughs> where the grass turns to this kind of stone um almost just to show you where the edge uh is before the lake and you see her take a deep breath in and out before she touches the water would anyone like to do anything I'm going to uh, pull out my doggy door. <laughs> okay. You, are you doing anything with the doggy door? No, I'm just pulling out my doggy door. Okay. <laughs> Love it. Um, and you see that uh, this kind of slightly dark veil starts to cover her shoulders and her robes. Which are already darker since um, her rejuvenation and her revival back in Ash Sky. And she walks just to the edge of the water and taps her finger on the surface. And you see a small ripple, almost like a skimming stone, just travel out further than it should just from touching it. And she stands back up, doesn't look back, kind of exhales again, and takes a step onto the water. Music. <laughs> you see, as she steps onto the pool and the lake, where she takes the first step. The ripples shoot out again like a darting fish. As she begins to walk further and further out towards the centre of the pool. You see where the bottom of her gown touches the water's surface. A faint, kind of deep, yellowy mustard smoke rises and just lays on the surface of the lake, clashed against the light blue of everything around you in this midsummer, mid-day sun. As she reaches towards the centre of the lake, she holds out, she turns round to face you all, her eyes darkened as with the moment where she was revived by Actilineth and she holds out a hand as if to beckon you all forwards do you all step out onto the lake I do yeah let's go yeah. you feel as you take your first few steps tentatively somewhat uh Umbrella included. You feel almost, almost as if walking on a waterbed. There is this kind of initial springiness before it st uh, stabilizes beneath your feet. And you begin walking somewhat closer just to keep enough of an eye on Luca until you're 30, 40 or so feet away. As you approach, you see this 
fog, this dark yellow golden colour has thickened behind her and from it the familiar bony grasp larger than it's been before the size of Luca's body emerges from one side almost cradling without touching her and the other hand coming out slowly to do the same as you look towards her into her eyes you see where the light once shone just enough to light her slara and her pupils and her irises all evidence of them has now gone as her eyes go fully almost liquid black on the outside and she smiles softly towards you a familiar smile a familiar face the luke you know and as you look to her kind of reaching closer you hear a glass almost cracking from heat under too much pressure any of you who've been in snow and ice before who have skimmed a stone across a frozen lake know this sound this eerie alien sound of cracking and skimming just emanating outwards a sonorous ripple from this center spot and see the lake beginning to freeze under where Luca is and outwards around you all and in the center as soon no sooner than it freezes it begins to part the ground underneath underneath and beneath and as it does a rift opens five ten twenty twenty five foot narrowest where you are all standing but as it shoots kind of behind and outwards from Luca and Actilinus hands you see it widen exponentially the increasing sound of waterfalls falling inwards to this crevice wherever it leads wherever it's going and as the smoke and the fog around Luca clears slightly, you see the depths and the darkness the waterfalls to. The wound in the lake is significant and has opened like a skill set of tailor's scissors through tool just from the power of Actilinus and Luca. The water rises and wraps around Luca's sleeves, turning them almost metallic and darker from the crystal clear blue to black. And you see that the shape taking place behind her is not at all dissimilar to the central diamond of Actilineth's sigil. Luca opens her eyes, wearily as if focusing but at peace, fully absorbed by whatever ritual this is. This whole time, some words ring out in your ears. Tu ver ek plis. Tu ver ek plis. Do any of you speak infernal? Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Sweet. Um, that's okay. And suddenly, Actilineth's voice booms louder than it has before.
The ritual is almost complete. Complete. You have done well so far. There is one last trial that awaits. Wait. You hear almost an inhalation from Actilaneth for the first time, just a gentle. <sighs> there are invaders. Protect us for just a minute longer. And you see Luca still standing or floating just above you all ahead of you. This crack stretching towards her and out from behind. And where once this rich smoke was emanating from Luca you see an equally dense black smoke emanate from the pits that have just formed in the middle of this lake where the water cascades down from the rest of this frozen area roll a, roll a perception for me please everybody You will want a 14 or higher, ideally. 14. Okay. That is well. Nope. Five. That is less cool. 26. <laughs> and that's a real 20. Nice. That's a nat 20? Nice. Ooh. Fuck yeah. Okay. I think with a nat 20, Bifon, you're able to highlight what you're seeing to everyone. Uh, do you do so verbally or just with a hand gesture? Hand gesture. Sweet. You all see as Bifon gestures to the diamond behind Luca. These tiny, faint screams emanating from this chasm. And as they do, you hear this almost scuttling sound as this icy blue hand grabs onto the edge of the frozen area of lake and climbs up not far behind Luca and begins to pull itself up. For any who are either creature nerds or have read enough fairy tales in the party you would know this to be an ice devil but all of you would recognize the origin of the sounds of flapping wings from behind it <sighs> as two bright red Cambians come out and land the other side of the chasm. Because of Bifon's nat, twen nat 20, we'll all get advantage on your initiative rolls! Alright! Let's, Let's do it! Freaking go. And, Seeks. should you so wish, <laughs> so. there is a map. Oh, alright. Um, mine has broken, so that's a good sign. <laughs> Hopefully it works. If not, not the end of the world. Um, right, let me go start session. She came prepared. And for the people uh, tuning into the Discord feed, you should hopefully be able to see it. Yay! Luca is still squished, I'm sorry. I couldn't fix it. <laughs> <laughs> it's nothing personal. <laughs> okay. So that's initiative and advantage. Oh, fuck. That was shit. Good job, Umbrella. Asshole. Alright. Where is my thing? 
Where's my encounter? I had an encounter. It's fucking gone. <laughs> that really sucks for me. Where is it? It was literally here. What the fuck? Where's it gone? <laughs> uh, like I cannot do it again. Texture wrap. <laughs> for real oh. for fucking real okay there we go somebody somebody make a polygonal luca please <laughs> low <laughs> poly luca hell yeah okay so with advantage initiative please oh, i will yell face. out i will yell out names as we go along uh camellia yeah what is your advan your advantage initiative? Nineteen. Nice. Uh, oh shit, Luca, what's yours? Um, <laughs> fucking not much. Uh, no, also for ah shit, underline Luca and you did your rollies. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, it doesn't particularly matter. Luca's not going to be doing much. All right, Tarquin. That's a dirty twenty. Dirty 20. Nice, nice, nice. Wow, I accidentally put in 38, because apparently scroll wheel does that. Good to know. Uh, Luto by Annie. 16. 16, and Bifon. 23. You magic, Ooh. yours is already in there. Fuck yeah. I'm gonna roll for the bad guys. Hiya. Oh, shit. Um, that's, uh, uh. Uh, uh, uh. Oh wow, lots of elevens and sevens. Um, and then is and then four and then okay, and then we're gonna we're gonna badass up the fucking song because it's time. <gasps> All right, <laughs> so many so many puzzle pieces. All right, is everybody ready? Okay. Okay. What a nice initiative order you guys. Okay. So, from what uh, Actilinus said, you have to survive for six turns. That's all you've got to do. You don't got to kill nothing. If you kill something, fuck you. All you got to do is survive six turns. Six rounds? Six rounds. That's gotcha. The <laughs> just everyone gets half a turn <laughs> and you have to survive okay so our lovely wonderful order of beneath oh it's so warm in here and the sugar is hitting uh, we have firstly beef on the stairs second off with an initiative of 20 we have Tarquin followed by Camellia and Ludo Everybody's together. Nice job, guys. So y'all just gonna be bam, 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 <laughs> passing each other, passing the baddies off. Uh, then we have Cambian A. Oh, that's right. I need to add the bad guys. They're hiding up here. You couldn't see them this whole time. Pacha, pacha, sorcery. Uh, he looks different. They all look different to that. The, it, wouldn't, it wouldn't let me put Cambian pieces and it makes me sad. So they just look like shitty armor, but I promise they're really cool devil people. Um, <laughs> oh yeah, and these guys are flying, so uh, that's, that's, that's that much. Um, okay, then we have Cambian A, which is Cambian 1 because I named everything wrong. Um... And then we've got Luca and Umberlie, and then we've got Cambian B and Ice Devil. All right, so got Beef on first, Tarquin on deck. What would you like to do, Beef on? You are up first. I would like to summon the one HP Queen and let out oh. my bag of cats. Yeah! Oh my God! Okay. Uh, remind me how this works. Roll a d8 for me, please. Okay. And then I've got to find the fucking sheet. <laughs> 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 Let me just open my DMs with Nye real quick. We love you, Nye. We miss you, Nye. Aluro is off saving the world in other places, but 
They are canonically doing that. It's okay. Um, I've been listening to this song all day. It's freaking it's so good. It's so freaking good. Um, 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 um. Okay. No. Um, no, I think I've gone too far. I think I've gone too far. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um. Uh, right. What did you? What did? What did get for cats? So roll now. A seven. A seven. Oh, perfect timing! I found it. Ooh. Uh, you summon into the battle a i'm excited for these i haven't got to play with these before a little a little oh it doesn't have the icon fuck everything okay no i don't want a bat okay it doesn't have the actual cat and it, i don't want just a hollow picture so we're just going to use this nightmare bat oh it is really <laughs> tiny no it's too tiny it's, it's too small <laughs> Um, okay, this is- oh no, that's too big. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, cat, um, dog? Does it have a dog? <laughs> sure. Um, sh sure, this is it. It's not a death dog. Um, it is actually... <laughs> a... Grimishka! So let me get up the sheet for Grimishka. And it will go after you. Okay. Uh, Grimishka. Meow. Um, I will find a sheet for it at some fucking point. Um, is the bag an action or a bonus action? I forget, I'm afraid. Mm. Okay, good. That's the same movement, isn't it? Okay, I found the um, sheet for Grimish Gamiao. If mm -hmm. you need. Mm -hmm. Oh, it is tiny. Know. The bat would work, it's... actually. <laughs> Let me get the bat. <laughs> Hell yeah. Okay. Gromishka. All right. So you summon a tiny Gromishka, and it kind of lands uh, on your shoulder with a... <laughs> <laughs> what would you like to do? Before? Oh, what do you mean, for me? Yes. Okay, and then I move them, right? Uh, so was yes. that an action or a bonus action? That's what I am just checking for you. Okay. I was about to say, does anyone know? And I'm like, it's dead ass homebrew items. <laughs> uh, uh, but you can move safely at this point with Grimishka either attached to shoulder or not. <laughs> well, we're preference. both pretty much just going to move in, probably. Sweet. Um, it's, all right, it's got two charges. Uh, an action. It's an action. Okay. Yes. Uh, how far can we get? Can we get? Because we both can move 30. Because uh, we're going to move towards the enemies on the left. Okay. So the Grimishka is riding you right now. So it will get additional movement on its turn. Sweet. Um, so you can get with your 30 feet. Obviously, there's a slight crack here. Um, it's not that wide quite. Um, so you could probably easily get over that. You could get to here. Um, okay. Safely without being too near the crack. <laughs> uh, would you like to go there? Yes. Okay. Also, have you named the Grimishka? <laughs> um, Just like bunny. a very little... Oh my goodness. Okay, 
I'll put them somewhere it doesn't just take over your face. There we go. Just a very scrunkly little cat. Um, <laughs> Alright, anything you'd like to do with your bonus action? Mm, I think we might be a little too far away for anything. Uh, wait, 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 oh, no, I think it's about as best we could do. <laughs> Okie dokie. Yeah. Um, Tark, when you are on deck, it is Bunny's turn. What would you like Bunny to do? Bunny is also going to stay here. Okay. Uh, yeah. Would you like Bunny to ready an action for if something gets too close, or...? Mm, matter of fact, that's a really good idea. Thank you for reminding me. I okay. would like to ready evasion. I don't know... Yes, they also have evasion, so... Yeah. Okay, so you want them to ready evasion? We're, we're both gonna ready evasion, yeah. Um, I... Let me see. Can you do evasion on a bonus action? Because usually readying actions is a action. That's an action action? action. All right, well, yeah. then uh, Bunny's going to ready evasion. Okay. <laughs> Bunny will jump away. <laughs> Any sign of danger. All right. Um, no worries. Otherwise, they are staying on your shoulder. Is that your yeah. turn, my friend? Yes. All right. Tarquin, it is your turn. Camellia, you are on deck. On dick. What would okay. you like to do, Dark Bean? So, I was looking around in Cambion number one. Mm -hmm. I kind of dislike him, so <laughs> I think I'm going to kick his ass. <laughs> Didn't want to say anything, but I heard him say some stuff about you, dude. Yeah, it wasn't, yeah, I think it, it wasn't very yeah, cool. Yeah, motherfucker, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to kill him. <laughs> so... Just flew out the hole and went, Hey, hey, Cambion 2, uh, have you seen this Fucking guy with silver hair. <laughs> oh, nerd. <laughs> yeah, so he's gonna get it. Okay. Are we are we sprinting? Yeah, can I reach him? That's the first question. Uh I have forty five bit speed. Oh my this is stupid. Who gave you that? Um... Uh yeah, you can reach. <laughs> so no, you can yeah, reach. you can reach. Yeah, you can absolutely reach. Do you need moving, Yay. or are you good to zoom yourself? Uh, no, no, I can. If I can reach by just walking around and acting like a champion, then I'm gonna do that. Sweet. And, uh, yeah, I want to I want to fight him. Whee! That was I, <laughs> that, that was what I was born to do to fight. Smack him up. Let's go. All right, let's go with the same. Oh my God, that's one, <laughs> and that is uh, two natural ones. So that's oh two failures. God. And I guess I can do much. Two but natural. there's one thing. There's one thing I can do. There's one thing I can do. Pray. Apart, apart from missing everything, <laughs> I uh -huh. can spend one key point, and I'm gonna take a notice of what Dime said, and I will use. Patient Defense, which is a skill that monks possess that I can use one key point and take dot, dodge action as a bonus action. Mm. Okay, because I was going to say with two natural ones, I think it would be fair for Cambion to get a little hit of opportunity. Oh, yes. Let him, let him. Yeah, but if, you, if you're if using your bonus action to dodge, then you're already at an advantage. Let's go! <laughs> Does a... Oh. Just show me what the fucking hit is. Don't get on my ass at me, Dungeons and Dragons. You fucking know. Um, can you just tell me what? Oh, they have multi attack. Good to know. Um, does a seventeen hit? Nope. Ooh. All right. Especially went with your dodge then. Okay. Uh, so that's your action and bonus action. Anything else you would like to do? And that's your movement as well. Yeah, I spent everything. Oh, that's... spent. Nice. Done everything you can. Uh, Camellia, it is your turn, Luto. You are on deck. Cool. Yeah, it is. 
Uh, I would like to use longbow on Cambion number two. Okay. Blah. Longbow. Oops, sorry. <laughs> Oops, sorry. You're all good. Okay. Mm How you doing? How's it going? Nat, nat one. Okay. Ooh, that's three nat ones in a row, team. Ooh. <laughs> just <laughs> arrow, just up and just immediately down. <laughs> just catches the wind. Almost comes back towards you <laughs> a little bit, concerningly. Is there anything else you can do? I have two attacks per action, so long right. bow again. Good luck. <laughs> we, that's we three natural ones in a row we for attacks. Really well, last stream. Oh, shoot your eye out, dear. <laughs> okay. Fifteen. 15 doesn't quite hit, I'm afraid. Um, but you see, just and it just goes off into the into the icy abyss, icy watery abyss below. What else would you like to do? I think if that is my that is my turn for now. Okie dokie, no worries. We do. We're going. We're trying. Right. Uh, does, so does stepping on the crack area look like a bad idea? Roll the perception check for me, please. <laughs> that this is, is an 11. Eh. It's like, bad it... luck for some people. <laughs> I mean, is it like big enough for things to come out of or is it like just like a inch? It's... It's like, it's it's like the width of someone's palm, you know. It's it's wide enough to be like, oh, that's that's a that's a crack. I'm okay. Um, but it's it, not like a, I'm gonna fall down it immediately. But it, it it's not screaming fragile or stable at you at this gotcha. particular moment. And this circle around Luca, what's that? It's Ac Actilaneth vibe. Okay. Good question, though. I forgot to mention that. Does it look per like, like we could walk through it, or is it... Yeah. Okay. It's a, bit it's a bit foggy, but not considerably so to affect battle. Okay. Uh, let's see. 10, 20, 30. enemies don't want to be getting into. This is okay? Hey. Yeah. Nothing weird you're happens? Done. Okay. No, you're good. <laughs> All right. I'm going to, at this point, shoot a pepper blast... A pepper blast over at Cambion One. Help my boy out. Pepper blast. All right, give it a, a go. A little bit of a spice you, blast. As you enter the um, oh, that natural? Nope, dirty. It's dirty. It's fine. It's dirty. Fine. I was gonna say, as you enter the kind of Actilaneth circle of influence, you do here. This area is unpure. I'm protecting my friend. Stick to mind your business. Luca, you're gonna be okay. And then Pepper Blast! Oh faith. shit! Ten damage. Let's go! Cambium 1 takes some spice to the face. Okay, good job. Just sizzles against their skin and face. Just little peppercorns of Eldritch Blast. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, so much, so much rosemary. <laughs> it's sage. It's sage. It works perfectly. <laughs> Get rid of the demons. <laughs> All right. Anything else? No. Ah, oh, the life of a warlock. <laughs> Elish blast. That's it. <laughs> Next. <laughs> All right. Well. Funnily enough, next up is a little a little guy called Cambion One, and he is going to. 
Monty. I love this song so fucking much. Uh, he's going to... I am very healthy about songs I like. Uh, he is going to attack and smack a little Tarquin. Does a 21 hit? No, it, yeah, yes, of course it does. <laughs> I don't know, man. You're a fucking monk. <laughs> so it could go either way. Um, ooh. And does a 20, 30, 30, 20 hit? Yes. Oh, shit. I'm rolling good today, you guys. How does that feel? How does that feel? <laughs> I finally get to know what it feels like. Is that a <laughs> yeah, he's gonna double double hand jab jab. You're gonna go for the jab jab jab, <laughs> but just twice because he's you know. That is a five. That is a six. Eleven. Add four. Fifteen. Four is nineteen. And ooh. Oh, and fire damage? That's so kind of you. Thank you so much. It's an honor to be here. Um, that is 22 points of piercing and fire damage uh, combined to you, uh, Parquin, as right. he goes pokey pokey with his little devil. <laughs> pokey pokey with his little devil stick. That's an awful sentence. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm me. My language is so floral and poetic today. Me. He stabs you with his de devil pokey pokey stick. Um, and that will be. Uh, no, it won't be his turn. Uh, he is going to fly. So you do get an attack of opportunity, Tarquin. He's gonna fly. He's gonna fly. Is Got there wings. any chance I can grapple with him? Ooh. Hmm. Roll to attack and see if it hits. And right. we'll go from there. You know, talk to me when it hits. We'll discuss. <laughs> <laughs> like Mafia Oh my god, it was a 20 and then it rolled into a 2. Oh. I have no luck. Oh my god. Oh, I misread that. I thought it was like... No. No. Unfortunately. No. Unfortunately, that does not hit. Even though I almost read it as a 19, so it was about to. Um... <laughs> So he's gonna just and um, hang on, <laughs> rule it, rule a fly. He's gonna go. Over here. And he's still ten foot in the air. Um, so I don't know. I'll do that. Um, I'll, ju I'll just do a little, a little cloud. Boop, boop. Yep, that's a cloud. Okay, that means he's flying. <laughs> okay, uh, with that is Lucas' turn. She's meditating. It's Umberlight's turn. Um, Umberlight is going to. Ooh, panic. Uh, sorry, no. Um, uh, it's a creature that's a bad, 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 that's she is go oh five ten hang on <laughs> maths i lied about how ma how much maths D &D. uh she's going to give tarquin the inspiration um she's gonna be like stop fucking missing him and that's gonna give you the inspiration <laughs> <laughs> she's having Jesus a really lady okay okay <laughs> she's having a really bad day oh um... <laughs> <laughs> It's nothing personal, sorry. Um, you can do it, Tarquin. <laughs> yes, we. Uh... <laughs> Inspiration. <laughs> Inspiration out of necessity. Um, and she is then. No. Um, ooh, ooh, let's give this another go, because that went well last time. Um, oh, you're too fucking far away. She's gonna, she'll literally say that. She's like, oh, too 
far, too far away. And just kind of come over here and cast Enlarge on Ludo Bayani. Oh, dang. Big boy. It's my favorite spell. <laughs> I'll eat this in the chat again so you can see what it do. Well, these weapons are in loot. <laughs> she cast <And> Cialis. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Stupid. Stupid. Okay, there we go. Um, and then she is going to do um, a very awesome. Uh, that's it. Okay. Whoop. And it is now. Uh oh, it is Cambium B turn. <gasps> Kaka, motherfucker. Wee! It's gonna. Is it on? Is it on? Come, on, come over here. Hi, beef. Um, and he is going to cast Fire Ray. Well, also be be fly. Be fun? Be fly. <laughs> um, and you can tell he's flying because wonderfully <laughs> illustrated cloud. There we go. It's like a little popcorn crown. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> They're not in range, I take it. Um, they not quite. No, um, not for a melee attack. Oh, Ugh. oh, fucking ew! Uh, does a ten hit? Nope. <laughs> Do does a 14 hit? Nope. You just see those two little fire motes just kind of come towards you and just land and fizzle out on the... Uh, what was that? F weird frozen floor. You just hear... <laughs> he's just gonna... He's gonna... He's gonna land. He's no longer... No longer fly. He's made... He, he did not get good scrub. Um, and with that, it is Ice Devil turn. Hang on, let me. Ooh, yeah, there you go. <laughs> the amount of D DMing that's happening right now is an astronomical. Um, okay, Ice Devil. Uh, oh, that's good to know. Um, ooh. Ice Devil saunters over and asks Bifon for his lunch money. <laughs> <laughs> right. Um. Let me see. Is it better to go there, or is it better to go there? Is the way the way to be the way to be the way to be super high? Uh huh. Yeah. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Oh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Um, hmm. Star Queen, heads or tails? It's. Oh, good choice. Um, okay. Sorry, Camellia. Uh, mm -hmm. he is going to cast Wall of Ice on. Camellia and Umberlai. Where's ice? There it is. And he's gonna go. Kuch. Whoa. No. No. <laughs> no. That's not it. Okay. He's gonna go. Kuchum. Oh, perfect length. Perfect. There you go. And uh, I will need you both. Valentine's Day. <laughs> Valentine's Day. <laughs> one foot, one foot thick and thirty foot long. Hey. hey. Ten foot high. Um, Hi. Uh, <laughs> Ten you can foot choose hello. Which, you can choose <laughs> which side to end up on, uh, Camellia. So you can either go to the left or the right of the wall. I will go to the left. Umberlai disagrees. <laughs> uh, it's not a conversation, though. Um, it be, uh, I need you then to make a 
dexterity saving throw for me, please. And is this, this will be... A, is this a spell? It technically would be, yeah. Okay, I have advantage then. Okay. Nice. Okay, then. So it's a DC 17 dexterity check, please. Ming money, no money! Oh, thank God. No, oh, I don't need this in them. 22. Whoa. Um. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. 22 succeeds. Um. It's good news for you. Uh. <laughs> Okay, you know what? Let's just click this button and see what happens. <laughs> Hopefully that'll pop up on y'all screen. Okay, cool. Um, so, <laughs> Camellia, you take 19 points of damage. Holy shit. Okay. okay. Uh, Umberlai will take 38 point oh, Jesus. points of damage. It's, yeah, it's, it's, uh, takes six turns to recharge. It's gonna do that. Um, and I would imagine I would also need to roll for concentration. <laughs> Ooh, enlargement stays up. That's good. Nice. <laughs> That's something. Um, okay. Uh, whenever a creature finishes moving through the bridge, they on its own, and you are ice, and makes you make it, and I'll go Okay, so the ice is also. You can destroy the ice wall, but it will leave behind a very cold ice fog that also does damage, just to be aware for you guys. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be open about that, because that would be a shit thing to be like, oh, actually, I know the wall's not there anymore, but you still take 10d6 of damage. Um, <laughs> I'm not gonna do that to you. Alright. With that, I believe it might be before turn. Uh, yeah. Before it is your turn, followed by Takin and then Camilla and then Ludo. What would you like to do? And Bunny. Okay. Sorry, not to forget Bunny. <sighs> One round. The first thing we should probably do is we're gonna move up above the Cambion. Okay. Just writing how many turn. Okay. So kind of up to here. Kind of I. How long is that? Uh, eighteen feet. Eighteen feet. Um, I mean, whatever puts us in range of him, whatever puts us within a five foot range. Oh, you of can him. get, you can get far closer. You can just go here if you want to. Mm -mm -mm. I'm putting myself in between the Cambion and the Ice Devil, so you can go one block oh, over. I'll yeah, go you can go over there. Yeah. Yeah, you can go all the way. You can yeah. take Bunny with you. Hey, yes, still on, still on shoulder. <laughs> Just uh, holding on with dear life, dear life with the little claws. There we go. All right. So. Mm, 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 mm. Just hisses at the Cambion. Hmm. Cambion hisses back. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So. Yeah, I'm gonna beat the shit out of this thing. Hey, let's go! Fuck him up! Alright. Roll. Uh, I take it an 8 doesn't hit. <laughs> 8 does not hit, unfortunately. Uh, and I take it a 9 doesn't hit. Unfortunately not! Oh. Okay, cool. Sweet. No worries, no worries. That's unfortunate. That's unfortunate. Mm. Poo poo rolls! Come on, dice! Still got bonus action and move. Uh, 10 feet of movement. Yeah. And a cat. <laughs> Shit. <sighs> Fuck it. Hidden step. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Just <So>. floating Grimishka. <laughs> <laughs> No, Grimishka's gonna hit the floor. Uh, Grimishka is 
then gonna go and move over towards the Ice Devil. Oh shit! Within melee range. Just canters across the strange icy water lake mix. Mm-hmm. Now for the Grimishka, their evasion is also a bonus. Action, um, or is it an action action? If you don't take another action, the evasion will stand. Uh, if you take another action, the evasion will no longer stand. Okay. So, yeah. Bunny's just going to stand there looking cute. And, and keep with evading. That evasion still, with that evasion still on. Sweet. All right. That is my turn. Okay. Good job, good job. And now we go to Tarquin, who has had the little pokey pokey. <laughs> um, not in the fun way. No. What are we doing? <laughs> um, <laughs> Gotta think of another see. name for I mean, a spear. That guy is flying, right? Yes, as because of the cloud. <laughs> yes, that's a very beautiful cloud. <laughs> Thank you so much. I went to art <laughs> university. <laughs> <laughs> Well worth it. Um, <laughs> Still in debt. <laughs> so, could I actually hit him, or is he too high? Um, he's ten foot off the ground. Um, uh, you're a monk, man. I mean, I could yeah. jump and. I I I would fully allow an acrobatic slash athletic attempt at jumping and punching him. Okay, so I can roll for acrobatics and then attack? Yeah, fuck it. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> you know, like, there's so there's so many rules in D&D. <laughs> <laughs> but sometimes you just want to jump and punch a guy. And, like, why not? You know? <gasps> That's a dirty 20. Uh, nice. Yeah. All right. You Fucking absolutely... Marvel versus Capcom out here. Absolutely roll to hit. Nice. Or indeed grapple, if you would like. Uh, this is a 27. Oh, 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 ninja nice. drop this motherfucker. There's the good roll. There's the good roll. And a 19. She that uh rem remember as well, you have bardic inspiration. Should you <laughs> should you should so you far, need? It wasn't necessary, but I okay. keep that in mind for the damage rolls. Oh no, <laughs> for the um, for the flurry of blows. I mean, yes, Umbrella's regret. <laughs> Just like okay, no, Umbrella can't amazed, see this. No. <laughs> okay, that's an eleven, so I can repeat it, right? Or, uh, or, or eleven do doesn't add something. hit. Um, you can add a d8. All right. And you will need no pressure. You will need a maths six or higher to hit. That was a five. Ooh, it's and so close. The last one. Oh my god, it was okay. Thirteen. So it was just the two unarmed. Uh, I mean, the two attacks yeah. then. Two smacks. Okay. Jump. <laughs> Land. Um, and six. 13 points of damage. Nice. All right. Doing some damage back. Bam. And then do you land kind of just past him? Oh, sorry. Yeah. I'm moving you. Yeah, yeah on the other side. <laughs> right there. Not, almost sliding into the wall, but managing to stop yourself. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there you go. Badass shit. Lee has landed. <laughs> All right. Oh, anything no. else you would like to yes, do? Yes, 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 yes. Yep. Okay. Action, go for it. Go for it. Because these guys are dangerous, I'm gonna use again mm, nasty. Uh, nasty. another key point. I'm spending this like crazy, and I'm gonna use patience defense again. Okay. So dodge action in case I'm gonna attack again. Well. We'll see what happens when it's his turn. Uh, sweet. Camellia, it is your turn. Muto Bayani, you are on deck. 
I am going to move a bit closer to Luca. Valid. And then uh, cast aid. Ooh, what does aid do? I don't think we've had that in the campaign yet. Uh, aid, your spell bolsters your abilities with toughness and resolve. Choose up to three creatures within range. Each target's hit points maximum and current hit points increase by five during the duration. Mm -hmm. uh, at higher levels, when you cast the spell using a spell slot, third, third level or higher, target's hit points increase an additional five for each slot. Okay. Well, yeah. So who else would you like to cast it on? Uh, I was like <laughs> doing the math of who's in range, so... Ludo, Tarquin, and Umberlai are within my range. Sweet. Okay. So Tarquin, you heal for five and get five temporary? Is that what I'm hearing? Mm-hmm. Sweet. Yeah, heal for five and take five nice. temporary. Sweet. Umberlai will take five. <laughs> Gladly take that five. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> Just getting fucking wrecked by a wall. And five temp. Nice. Awesome stuff. Good move, good move. Anything else? I am good for now. All right, good moves. Little man. I can't not say it like that. <laughs> that's how, I mean, that's how you say it. I don't see why you'd say it any other way. Little man. All right, he's going <laughs> to turn back towards Cambion 1 and try and finish it off. And I uh, forget, he actually shoots two pepper blasts. Oh. He's level six. Spicy, spicy. First spice shot. Uh, does a 14 hit? 14 does not hit, unfortunately. Okay. Another one. How about a 19? 19 hits. <laughs> that is for four points of damage. And then, mm. hearing Umberlai cry out in pain, ah. he's going to reach out a hand towards her and heal her for 13. Oh, bye. Oh, bye, bye. <laughs> she kind of looks at you and... Uh, oh, she can't. She can't see you, but that's okay. <laughs> you okay you can, out there? No, it's, a, it's an ice wall. You can see, you can see through it. Um, fuck it. Um, uh, uh, <laughs> That's what she says back. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And anything else? Uh, how much to like get over here? If I wanted to cross over the thing, say like do like an um, athletics check to like jump over it. Oh my god. I mean, how big? Like how over... big is it? Like right here. Um. Oh, it's you in your embiggened form. Um, you can just step over it. Oh, okay. Well, there you go. Yeah. Just want to put myself between the big ice devil and Luca. Nice. That's okay. it. Okay. Okay. Cambion one's turn next. Feeling a little bit peppered up, a little bit salty, a little bit salty sweet, a little bit tiny. Um. Ooh, no. No. Okay. Um, I'm going to fly the fuck away from Tarquin. <laughs> Wait, oh, how far can I go? Oh, no. Oh, no, that's a fucking range. Oh, my God. Oh my god. Meow. He's go going over here. He's, and he obviously flying because otherwise he'd be in a hole. It just got better. Um <laughs> and... beautiful clouds. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> and he is going to, for your compliment, such a nice compliment, uh, he is going to uh, cast two fire rays at you. Oh, thank you. Of course. Ooh. Does a 24 hit, and what does your defense move do? 
Oh my god. Um, okay. 24 initially hits, but I have um, dodge, so I can roll a dexterity saving throw. I think that's the idea, right? No, I think dodge uh, gives you gives them disadvantage. Uh, let me check. No, no, no. Oh, I used to Google that. <laughs> Until the start of your next turn, any attack roll made against you has disadvantage if you can see the attacker, and you make dexterity saving throws with advantage. Oh, so it's two separate things, right? Okie dokie. Thank you for checking. Okay. Dang it. That was such a good roll. Would have gotten away with it if it wasn't for you meddling monks. <laughs> um, does a... <laughs> uh, what was my number before? 24. 24. Um, uh, does a 22 hit? Oh my god, yes it does. <laughs> Rolled a oh, 15 and a 17. Oh, yeah. And the second one... Ooh, does a 19 hit? Yep. Okay. Ooh. Can hear some Tarquin. What's going on? Um. Oh shit. Is that each? Oh fuck. Uh oh. Uh oh. I don't, I don't know my own strength. <laughs> I think we're bringing in the chaos dice for this one. All right. Oh, that's ooh. Triple. I got turkey. Uh, two, two, and two is six. For the first one. Uh oh. So the first moat hits you just and you take six fire damage and the second one hits just slightly closer to the center of your chest and deals 12 damage. It just explodes that little bit bigger and brighter. Gotcha. Ooh. So a total of maths. <laughs> Lost brain. Yes. Yes, myth. Oh, he's still up! He's still up! Let's go! <sighs> okay, that is gonna be his turn. Luca, ritual. Um, Umbrella. Oh, Umbrella. What can we do, Umbrella? Um, mm -hmm. I think we'll give a bardic inspiration to... Mm. She can't see you, Bifon. <laughs> but that's not a prerequisite. Uh, a creature other than yourself that can hear you. So she's just gonna go, Bifon. Yeah. I don't know where you. Oh, hello. Um, hit them good. Yes, I believe in you. And give you bardic inspiration. <laughs> Bifon just does like the 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 showering meme. Just ah. Uh... <laughs> and nobody can see him <laughs> except the audience <laughs> and ooh how how cool can I be not very I don't think oh. man I wish I had fucking like misty step or meta magic or something <sighs> uh <laughs> I can't do anything concentration uh... Ooh. How does that work for something that's flying? Probably not worth the risk. Okay. <laughs> we are <laughs> going to... I think Tark... Oh, Tarquin's right! Fucking... Hi, Tarquin! <laughs> Where is it? Oh, he's there. Hi! Um, and she's going to Hi. cast... How are you doing? Um... She is going to cast Aura of Vitality on herself. Um, you see this 
bright lavender aura surround her in a 30 foot sphere and she can't use a bonus action but it looks really cool for now and she is going to make a point of right stay nearby i'll be able to heal you somewhat us somewhat maybe hopefully yes i won't go anywhere thank you Oh, well, you can move, but I will just need to follow along behind. <laughs> All um, right, then. Let's go towards the clouds. There are clouds? <laughs> and with that. Beautiful. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, no, I think. Um, no, the dubious. Uh, <laughs> All right. <laughs> Camion 2 is going to do the Baldur's Gate thing of, like, look around. Where is Bifon? Uh, <laughs> cannot find Bifon. Oh, look, there. Ooh. But big man and also dear lady, who are we gonna go for? Uh, Camellia, you got hit last I don't time. Know, Heads or but tails? Did you just move away from me? He did. Ah. Oh. Good catch. Good fucking catch. Yeah. Um, it will reveal you from your invisibility, but you can absolutely get an attack of opportunity as he goes to move past you. A sixteen hit. 16 is one off, I'm afraid, but you do have Bardic Inspiration. So you can use your D8 to guarantee a hit. Ah, uh, but you already gave me the results. Oh, okay. I have to choose to use Bardic Inspiration before you calculate. Okay. That's that's yeah. very nice. That's very nice of you to to be so on on point. I mean, is yeah, I it is allow considering you, to... you have given <laughs> us things with like an armor class of eighty seven. That's great. <laughs> you don't have to kill them. You just have to survive. <laughs> oh yeah, how many turns has it been? Or rounds. Uh, Tell Tarquin well, that. This is the second round. <laughs> All right. So, okay. That that do a miss. Um, mm -hmm. Camellia, heads or tails? Uh, tails. Of the torn torn veil. Hey. Unfortunately, that is heads. You're not having much luck with the heads and tails. I am. I am sorry. Uh, <laughs> oh. Hi. Just just giant Ludo is like, come find me, <laughs> my <laughs> dear. Um, and he's gonna go for two spear attacks and hopefully i roll worse this time hopefully i roll bad all the time does a 16 14 maths no <laughs> 15 hit yeah okay so the dirty 20 will as well <sighs> okay um and he's just doing Two, just doing two-handed. Um, but yeah. Oh fuck! That's two fives on d6s. That's ass. Um, so that will be um, uh, to ten for fourteen, eighteen points of piercing damage as he gets a couple <laughs> devilly, <laughs> devilly stabs in. Okay, it's fine. It's all good. You're doing great. You just gotta survive, that's how you oh. can do. And that's all he's gonna do. Um, let me do that so I remember. Okay. Uh, Ice Devil! Rawr. Uh, oops. He is, uh, he's looking at the other big, big guy here, just accidentally walks over the Grimishka. <laughs> oh no, Actually, the kid. Let me see if he notices it. No. <laughs> uh, Grimishka is going to get an attack of opportunity. <laughs> nice. Uh, uh, would you like to roll for uh, 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 his attack of opportunity? Uh, uh, yes. yes. So that's a uh, d20 plus out. four. Ah, thank you. Thank you. That's what I was wondering. Of course. Appreciate it. Um, <laughs> yeah, 15. 15 does not um, does not hit. I'm afraid. Yeah, exactly. 
<laughs> it, well, it does hit, it just doesn't do anything. <laughs> just... <laughs> and just Ice Devil, unfazed, unbothered. Mm -hmm. uh, he's like, hey, big guy. Um, he's he's going to come for the big man. I'm Happy get it. Valentine's Day. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> um, right. One bite, one claws, one tail. Ooh, Lord. Jesus. Oh, this is a bad time to have light armor. A little bit. Um, <laughs> this is a, this is a, um, does a, does a 28 hit? Yeah. A little uh -huh. bit. Just barely. Does a 12 hit? It does. Oh no. My AC is currently 10. I literally rolled a natural 2. <laughs> and I, you hit on a natural 2? Alright, this is going to be great. <laughs> I, uh, I guess uh, let's see if we get a nat 20 at this point. Oh, you were right. That's a seven. Okay. Lord Jesus. Okay. I'm going to nerf that a bit because that's a bit extreme. Um... Right. What does enlarge... Does enlargement... Does enlargement not give you a little bit, a little bit, a little bit bonus? Um... In case of this, I have some hours. And then saving throws... Extra damage. Uh, uh, shit. Fucking ass. Alright. Um. Okay. Let's do. Let's do this and let's do. This. Okay. So he's gonna he's gonna take a bite with his. Devilly cold fangs. Oh Jesus! <laughs> Good. <So that's... laughs> I'm rolling really well today. Sorry, you guys. Um, that is a total of thirteen points of piercing damage, plus three cold damage for sixteen total. Okay. For the, for the bite. For the claws, oh, that can be less. Yeah. Um, that is ten points of slashing damage plus one point of cold damage. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and last but not least, here, hanging in like a pro. Big whammies. Oh no! <laughs> the whammy's too big. Oh, no whammies! No room for whammies! Okay, a mm. little bit of room for whammies. Uh, that is another 13 points of bludgeoning damage. Ooh, thank you. One, thank you for the aid. <laughs> plus one cold damage. I would be down and... if it wasn't for the aid. Nice. And that is, Ooh. you have survived. <laughs> That just um, baller king just. I'm <laughs> rolling interception against that, by the way. Ooh! I've been waiting for you to end. <laughs> Valid. <laughs> so you you've also I've also prevented six of that damage. Just one, hey. two, three. Oh, nice. That's something. That's something. It's not bad. <laughs> he is the big boy. He is the he is the big boy. So yeah, I walked straight towards him for some odd reason. <laughs> Making all the great hey, Mr. Day. Ice Devil! <laughs> <laughs> I love how you just like put out your weapon like stop, <laughs> and it kind of worked. That's <laughs> fucking <so> beautiful. <laughs> just poking it away. <laughs> Don't hurt my friend. Stop it. it! Okay, that is round two complete. Speaking of Bifon, it is your turn. And then Tarquin, Camellia, Ludo, you all are on deck. And Bunny, of course. We cannot forget Bunny. What would you like to do? I was about to change the tune, but I was like, now's not the time because you need to see. 
I am going to... Uh, because this thing's probably going to be off in one more day. I'm going to eat an Elemental Resist Cupcake. Ooh! Yes, it will. Good shout. And... This is the last day of cupcake validity. For second action... I guess I bonk this dude. <laughs> Valid. <laughs> Give him it's a an 18 bonk. hit. It fucking does. <laughs> Let's go. Uh, and that will be for six. Nice, nice, nice. Let's fucking go. Let's fucking go. Let's see. What bonus? What bonus do I have? What bonus do I have? Uh... <laughs> this is fine. <laughs> if Tarquin mm. wants to punch someone, no matter how far or high, he will find a way to. So you have to do like anime read to this. <laughs> I will find you. And I will punch you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think that's my turn. No worries. It's all good. Uh, okay. mm. Gromishka is not out of range, right? It's what what's say? Gromishka is not not out of range. They just move past them. Oh no! Yeah, yeah. they literally just couldn't see her because it's so tiny. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see. <laughs> uh, it's not like a. <laughs> it's not... <laughs> <laughs> Fuck! Keep them on evasion. I think we're I think we're in a good position right now. Oh, kitty, kitty on the vision. Yes. Okay, doggy. <laughs> okay, doggy. So that is Bunny and Bifon. Mm -hmm. Tarquin, it is your turn. Camellia, you are on deck. Let me see if I can find another song. Bye, bye, muffin. Mm -hmm. Is this one good? I can't remember. No, we need we need bigger than that. We need bigger than that. No, what is this? This one maybe? No. No. <laughs> Don't mind me. Finding vibes. Oh. But does it get lit? I think it kind of does. Hmm. It doesn't feel like it's getting lit enough. <gasps> oh. I have just the song. Actually. Uh-oh. I forget, I forget this song. This is, this is dramatic enough, I feel. Mm -hmm. FF14, it was this, FF14? No. This... It's funny you should ask. This is something that was composed by the incredible record for the audio drama that we're making. Oh, nice. Ooh. Original song, y'all. Wait, this is for mm -hmm. Tales of the Torrent Vale proper? The, um, yeah, the text adventure audio. Okay. Ooh. I was like, ooh, I forgot I have this on my sleeve. Yeah, shout out to Record. Woo! My first ever collaboration on Dreams. And and it's like one of the best songs ever. Yeah. <laughs> I'm involved oh, with and I'm really like, good. oh shit, Hell please yeah. compose for us. <laughs> Take my money. <laughs> so hopefully we'll get more songs from them. 
So what would you like to do, Tarquin? Uh, all right. So first, I want to know what's what Umberlay did. If I um, so she has cast a veil of some form of magic around you both, in an effort to apparently heal you. Okay, but if I move away, does that break or is it stays? It will, but she'll follow behind and activate it when she can. All right. All right, so so I you're can... good to move, but not too far because she needs to be able to keep up. <laughs> okay, so after strategically thinking about this, I'm going to go and kick some ass again. Hell yeah! And and yeah, I'm gonna go again after number one because he's my friend now. <laughs> I guess I can reach him again, right? Um, you've got forty. Five feet of movement, right? Do I? You it? would be teetering on the edge, but you wouldn't be able to. It would have to be a strategic jump oh, directly I upwards. Use... I could use step of the wind. I. What's the description for that? It says that I can dash and use it as a bonus action. And your jump distance is doubled for the end of the turn. Oh. <laughs> so, you want to, like, jump over? Kind of get yeah, up wanna... close and then As jump across? Close. Yeah, I'm going to jump right towards Cambion 1 and punch him in the face. Oh, or jump, yeah. Yeah, jump from where you are. Yeah, if just I can across reach him. the ice. No, so I wanna... mean the ice is on the other side, right? <laughs> so you want to hang on? You want to go there and punch him like that? Exactly. This is all ravine though down here. This goes into the the depths below. So in the square that it's to the right to Cambion 1, it's yeah, a little here. bit of land where I can just fall and not die. Yeah, you'll be you'll be teetering, but you'll be able to stand there, yeah. That's good enough he for me. He will, he will. Slightly improved cloud. All right. Yeah, go for it. Nice. All right. Let's see if I can hit this guy. Oh, I, I'm sorry. Don't roll a natural missed. one. That's not the, the the right. Yeah, you're good. You're good. <laughs> this one is the right one. Oh, hang on. And the screens have gone back. Nice. 22. And the second one, I cannot see it. It's a 21. 22 hits. 21 also hits. Roll for damage while I try and figure out why my laptop is I'm going to add the enormous Eight strikes problem. as well. Nice, do 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 it. Uh, so you're just like jumping 21. up and down as you're punching this guy, <laughs> just floating above. The Boink. Oh, Boink. Three, three hits. Let's roll for damage now. Twelve. Thirteen's twenty-five. There you go. And nine is thirty-four damage. Nice, Joe. It's getting a little bit damaged and very angry. <laughs> okay, so you're. Wee! Boop. A number lie is like, use a four! <laughs> okay, is that your turn? That's my turn, thank you. Badass! Badass! Speaking of badass, Camellia! It is your turn and Luto, Luto, Bayani. You are on deck. <laughs> Mm -hmm. <laughs> I would like to cast uh, Cure Wounds on myself. Nice. Good plan. <laughs> Good heals to you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and also with you. Okay. Uh, 13. Ooh, nice. Good. Good heals. Mm -hmm. Then. Such a fucking ball. I'm biased, but this is such a bop. <laughs> I, I, I don't know how to 
say this without sounding happy Valentine's Day. Go but... as full happy Valentine's Day as you can. I would like to ram <laughs> Campion number two. Yeah! Do it! A Rambian. Mm. Hey. Does a... Uh... 18 hit? Yes, it does. Yeah. Okay. Rolling four damage. Uh, four. Four, four damage. damage. Four horns damage, though. Woo. Just bonk. <laughs> just, ah, ah. <laughs> Doesn't know where it's coming from. All right, badass. Anything else you would like to do? I am good for now. Okay. Uto Bayani. is, uh, oh, okay, that's cool. Uh, he's feeling kind of hurt. <laughs> Anybody else looking hurt, by the way? Is it just Ludo? Uh, no, a lot of people are looking pretty hard. I'm uh... pretty hard, but uh, <laughs> I don't know if Umberline is going to save me. Tarquin's uh... pretty injured. Camellia's not looking fully hot. Uh, Beef one's looking at right. uh, There's a little cat over there for some reason. Uh, you can just see underneath the devil's legs. Okay, uh, let's see. Ludo yells uh, out baby something. Baby Cheeks is a little hurt. Okay. Uh, let me double check how this works. Six creatures. Okay, perfect. Uh, he is going to uh, call out something like, Hey, stick together. It's going to be okay. And then everybody heals for... Nice. Seven. Yay. Hey. It's not, it's not, it's not nothing. No. Everybody heals for seven, and then he's going to reach into his pouch at his side and eat what is now an enlarged meatball. Oh my god. And uh, give himself three temporary hit points. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. That's it. Oh, incredible, incredible scenes. That's really big meatball. <laughs> 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 Okie dokie. Cambion number one turn. And his best friend, Tarquin. Ooh, how's your strength? My strength in, uh, <laughs> in total is 12. So I have a plus one. Amazing. He's going to grapple you. Uh -oh. oh, he can grapple this. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, if I was playing a game, what would I not want to happen? I love oh. it. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go. So, yes, roll a strength saving throw for me, please. Oh, strength saving throw. I have more. That's nice. Oh, that's not nice. Eleven. Oh my god. Ooh, it was close! It was close! <laughs> There's only two points in it. The Cambion just dives towards you, Tarquin, and grapples you, and successfully just almost. Wait, you're not wearing any shirt right now, are you? <laughs> oh my god. I'm... I am I forget fully Monk. from the waist up. I'm completely well, except the right. the, the armband. But no. yeah, that's fine. It's uh, he'll... slip on the baby oil. We <laughs> 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 Oh fuck! I <laughs> jumped him. Um, he'll just grab your ponytail then and uh, just pull you and Don't begin touch to my hair, fly. You bastard. <laughs> <laughs> it's just gonna fly over here with uh, with Tarquin in tow. Bye, Tarquin. Bye, Tarquin. <laughs> See you later. Bye. Uh, see, the question is, what would happen if you... <laughs> Fuck. So, I'm not going to ask you... Roll a new character? Mm, 
to <laughs> to make a uh athletics check for me please sure. um you are going to want to roll a 14 or higher. All right. Let's see what happens. Oh my god. I am too. I oh. have to today. Oh. Oh my. <laughs> Let me Google something real quick. How fast do people fall? <laughs> oh. It's uh. D Thank it's you, usually no. a d6 per 10 feet. It's a d6 per 10 feet. I'm just wondering how fast gravity is in d Don't worry, guys. I have slow fall. I'm a monk. And oh, nice. Do you really? Do you fucking really? <laughs> of course. I'm always ready. Monk. What's in the um, hole? That's a really good question. <laughs> in the how hard is it? Go? In the. In the, in the <laughs> hang on. In the world. Of D and D five E, you fall five hundred feet in six seconds. Apparently, yeah. that's a lot of fall. Well, that's good to know. But we're at the point where Tarquin is just being dropped. I'm not that fucking evil. Um, but you are falling. Um, nice. For all intents and purposes. Okay. Okay. Cool. Um. Cool, Luca still ritual. Umberlai panic mode. <laughs> Just like talk when you were meant to Oh fuck. <laughs> um <laughs> Oh my god, please. Uh I don't think I don't think I have it. I don't think I have it. I don't think I have it. Oh I don't fucking have it. Um Um That's really bad. What I did there is really bad, and I don't know what to do about what I just did there. Hang on. Larger, smaller. How big is a large creature? Just doing maths real quick. He's gonna go back. Okay. Hmm. <sighs> Do ten feet away. Ah! Ah! I'm trying chaos, and I'm like, I don't think. <gasps> there is one thing. There's one thing she can try. If she can get close enough, there's one thing she can fucking try. Sorry, I'm just reading stuff. Uh, when is a man? 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 Uh huh. 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 Uh huh.
is going to try and cast Charm Person on Cambion 2. It is close enough to a humanoid where I would allow you guys to do the same. Um, so if ever you guys try to charm a uh, devil and I'm like, you can't do that, quote me at this moment. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and she's going to do it at disadvantage because um, we are attacking them. But <clears throat> she's going to give it a go. Which is very, very sucky. Also, I didn't realize, um, Ludo, you would be small again, I am afraid. Okay, um, I'm... Okay. So I've got to get a 15... Oh, fuck. They've got to get a 15 or higher with advantage. They've got to get a 12 or higher with advantage. <laughs> Come on, Chaos Dice! Come on, come on, come on. <gasps> First roll is a five! First roll is a five! First roll is a five! <laughs> come on, I'm really like this! <gasps> Second roll is a four! Second roll is a four! <laughs> <laughs> what is what is happening? Like so, what is okay, context? So um Umberly, Umberly cast um uh a charm on the second cambion. Um, it ne she it needed to roll a twelve or higher, with advantage, and it rolled a seven. With nice. Advantage. <laughs> um, she <laughs> so, uh, Cambion Two is charmed. I don't know how the fuck we do that. Um, but but um, Cambion Two is charmed, and she is gonna say. Fly and save him. Fucking go. And and uh, it's his turn next, and he's gonna be like, okay, baby. <laughs> and he's got sixty feet of flying. Ah! And he's gonna. <laughs> ah! and he's gonna. <laughs> I've never had charm person work. I'm very excited. And he's gonna swoop. And then he can't go very far, but uh, he will oh, what try. Are you doing? I was trying to kill that guy. <laughs> no, the pretty lady told me not to. Um, Camion One is gonna get an attack of opportunity though. <laughs> the oh my god, that's not high enough. Okay, okay, <laughs> okay. You're almost at the edge, Tarquin. You see the other devil has just scooped you up, like one drops you, and like two seconds later the other one's like, whoop, <laughs> and catches you and flies towards the edge. Okay, ah. listen, listen, Camion 2. I don't know your name, but I'm calling you Camion 2. <laughs> listen, <laughs> that guy over there says something about your mother. He's mean. Oh. I don't like him. <laughs> you guys attack me, but Camion 1 is a dick. <laughs> yeah, kick his ass. <laughs> and with that, it is unfortunately once again the Ice Devil's turn. Um, shit. Well, Beef One is right there. Um, I. <laughs> Sweet. Um, yeah, he's just gonna go for some more attacks. Attacky works. Mm -hmm. Let's go, beef. <laughs> you got this. I got, I don't got this. I have to not have this. Uh -huh. Okay, does a 17 hit? Mm hmm. Is it just melee attacks? Yep. Cool. Does. A, oh, hang on. That's the wrong fucking sheet. Yeah, okay. Um, does a... Yes, okay. So a dirty 20 also hits. And then he gets the claws. Oh, no. I'm rolling this wrong. Oh, I suck. I'm, get, I'm rolling this wrong. Um, JC, add, like, 20 HP to yourself, because I 
did maths very fucking wrong when he attacked you. Oh dang. Um, yeah. I'm I'm just healing for twenty right now. Yeah. I oh, I shit. I rolled I rolled like yeah I rolled too many attacks. Um. Okay. Let me try again. That's a natural one. So um, the bite misses you before. <laughs> Just as well. Hey. Um, does does a dirty twenty hit? Yes. Okay. And does a sixteen hit? Yes. Okay. Slightly less terrible, but terrible nonetheless. Okay, that is mm, four, fourteen uh, slashing damage that from the claws. Plus three cold damage, so that's seventeen total. How does uh, resistance work? The claws were fourteen, right? Um, so it's elemental resistance, so you would only take one cold damage. Okay, so I've taken fifteen damage. E yes, if I'm mathing right. <laughs> Chat, feel free said, to let me know if you I said did three math cold. Thing. Yeah, which so, so it would be one cold damage. One. And you yep. hit me for 14 with the claws. All right. Thank y'all. Thank you for maths. <laughs> and then for the tail. Oh. You okay? Hmm? Oh. The tail. I'm okay. Oh. <laughs> I thought you were like, ow. <laughs> um, that is five, which is 10. Uh, plus another one cold damage with your resistance already added. Uh, so I mean, that's five 11. is not 10, but okay. Uh-huh. 11, uh, 11 damage from the tail. Sweet. And that's it. You're alive. Congratulations. <laughs> How do you know? <laughs> oh, boy! <laughs> I can see your health on my, on my combat twacker, silly. Okay. And speaking of, it is your turn before. What would you like to do? to slap the shit out of this thing. No, um... <laughs> I mean, valid. <laughs> and Tarquin, Camellia, Luto on deck, as usual. Oh, and of no, course, he... Bunny. I mean... Sure, fighting spirit. Hmm? Uh... Which would give me advantage on weapon attack rolls, plus a 5 temp HP. And I guess I'll slap the shit out of them. Yeah, let's go. That's four, so it's a good thing I did that. That is two, so it's a good thing I did that. <laughs> so we got one nine, we got one seven. Ooh. We have a 20. Not? Yes. Fuck yeah, Mivon. <laughs> just somewhere like Barnabas Proud Range just couldn't tell. It's like, yeah, before. <laughs> All uh, right. And let's see. Uh, Full damage plus rolled. Uh, Shout out no, Monty Fun Buns. Not, worth it. not worth it for this. Because uh, I have, I have, in, I have inspiration. Uh, mm -hmm. Not going to use it. So I'm only getting one hit. It's the crit. So that yeah. is ten. Plus fourteen damage. Nice. Let's go. Ten plus fourteen. So no, 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 no. Fourteen oh. total. Fourteen <laughs> total damage. Four. No. I rolled noise. four. Yeah. Still so. fucking good. Um, big boy. Mm, and Bam. yeah, since uh, fighting spirit is my bonus, that are my action. Nice. Uh, Are you moving? No. Good choice. <laughs> uh, what would you like Bunny to do? Uh, Bunny is... <laughs> What's Bunny's uh, attack roll again? Uh, plus four, I believe. Yeah. Okay. On a, on a ten, right? On a, uh, on a d20. On a d20. Okay. Yeah. Wait, what? So it's Hold plus four second. to hit on a d20. <laughs> and then the oh, damage okay. would be uh, 1d4 
plus two, and okay. then force damage. Because so I take it to 21 hits. Grimishka. 21 does it. Okay. So <laughs> now tell me, how does the attack work? Uh, so, that so that's actually be... plus. So that's piercing plus force. Yeah. So it'll be 1d4 oh, sure. plus two, and then 1d6 in addition for the grand okay. total. Uh, so d4. Money. <laughs> Uh, that's a full four plus what? Two, nice. Two. So that's six damage. And then roll one D6 for your force damage. Six piercing and uh, roll the five. Ooh, almost max damage. Bunny been saving that up. You just see <laughs> how does how does Bunny do this attack they've been saving up for? Uh, oh, oh, I yeah. forgot who does this attack. Uh, I think it's uh, Kimberly from Street Fighter Fi Street Fighter Six. Uh, yeah. So it's a jump. A, a, uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's a jump kick attack with a backflip and then several more little kicks. On the yeah. Ring. <laughs> just lands and it somehow does fucking damage <laughs> to this giant ice devil that's like, oh, ow. <laughs> that was five plus what? I'm sure uh, you can all that. Five plus what? Uh, five plus six. So it's eleven. Okay, so it's plus two and plus six. Okay, cool. All right, and we're both just gonna stay here. Tarquin, it is your turn. What would you like to do? I would like to kick Cambion's one ass, but I think it's too risky now. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> so I wish you of... would step back from that ledge, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you should be able to jump to the edge safely now, if you want to. Yeah, I would like to go to a safer location. And uh, I'm going to use... Uh, I have it right here. <laughs> you just punch Cambium too. Like, thanks for the lift. Bam. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Ow. <laughs> Kicking the ass. <laughs> no, no, I'm oh, gonna use. So uh, let me, let me check. It's called. Uh, I cannot find it anywhere. Wholeness of body. Oh. It means once per long rest as an action, you can regain. In my case, is 18. HP, which is class level plus, no, for three times class level. That's the the, the math. So nice. I will heal myself. Eighteen points. That is indeed math. So it's stay in school, cool. kids, and you will know how much you heal in D and D. <laughs> or not sponsored, you can use D and D Beyond and click, and it will easily roll your dice for you. So yeah, that's gonna be my action. <laughs> Hell yeah. Just monk casually healing themselves for 18 hit points. Pfft, no biggie. <laughs> it's crazy. Monks, man. Anything else? Mm, I don't think so. Okie dokie. And then I guess we will go to Camellia. You want to see ya. And then followed, of course, by Muto Bayani. I'm gonna slowly get tunes for everybody. Build it up into a full song. <laughs> what would you like to do, Camellia? I would like to use longbow on Ice Devil. <gasps> do say, say that tentatively as I see how close everybody is. Mm. <laughs> no, you're good. Just Thank you. Just don't roll a one. You'll be fine. Just don't roll a one. That's all you've got to do is not roll a one. <laughs> Sorry, it wasn't I'll stop a one. saying that. <laughs> <Bing>. <laughs> I hope I hope I, mean, I make up for any low rolls with funny longbow noises. Mm -hmm. I'm assuming I'm assuming an eight doesn't hit. Uh unfortunately not. No. Okay. Then I will just uh, cure wounds again on myself. 
Nice. Sound. That is a good, good shout. <laughs> Any movement? Anything else you would like to do? I think I am good where I am. Hell yeah. Alright, uh, Ludo is going to... No longer big. He's going to run up and smack it. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Busts out his giant... Uh, yeah, exactly. Yeah, thank you. I will. Uh, his big old tenderizer <laughs> Try and tenderize the shit out of this ice demon's shins Your spiritual tenderizer is now even brighter and shinier than it once was Oh la la Like a little bit blindingly so just Ah, <laughs> uh, alas, cool. only a 14 A 14 does not hit Forsooth, I am afraid Wait a minute Forsooth That fucker is so wounded. Oh, true. Roll advantage. Okay. And remind me, guys, if if we're surrounded, you can roll advantage. Same with enemies. Oh. Yeah? Rolled off a fifteen to a thirteen. Shame. Neither would have worked. Um, but I appreciate the effort. <laughs> and big, shiny, bonky, blinding, radiant. Angel. It's, it's actually just his normal tenderizer. He doesn't have the spell anymore <laughs> to summon his spiritual tenderizer. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it is. It's just a very sunny day. I know. I oh, it yeah, is. It's regular. <laughs> it is. There's not many clouds. I, I made the sun. That was me. I did that. <laughs> I'm proud of you. Thanks, Dad. <laughs> Anything else you would like to do? That is it Whoa. for uh, Luto. That is a big cloud. Alright. It's everybody's least favorite's turn. How many rounds Ooh, are we? Cambion one. We are in round four. Oh my gosh. I skipped one, that's okay. We might just make it five just for for brevity's sake. <laughs> Alright. Cambion act. Uh, it is his turn, and now I've drawn his beautiful cloud, he's going to, uh, fly. Whee! Who's he gonna go for? Hmm. Hmm. So many options. Um. He's gonna go for... Uh, be fun! Odds or evens? Odds. Good choice! This really doesn't go well for you, this game, Camille. <laughs> I'm so sorry. No. Um, this is fine. He, this is fine. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna go for two uh, fire spells. Eh, when I can find my dice to roll. Where are my dice? No, take me! <laughs> it's okay, I've been healing myself. <laughs> Good, because I don't have any. <laughs> Does a 15 hit? Yeah. Oh, that, well, that second one fucking 21 does. Um, okay, that is okay. You will survive this. I believe in you. I believe. Uh oh. I believe. Uh oh. Oh no, that's twice. Uh oh, uh oh. <laughs> you're you're gonna be f gonna be fine. Call nine one one. We're gonna be fine. <laughs> it's gonna be so good. Call Eric. <laughs> so good. Is anyone got a stretcher? <laughs> oh, I did roll pants. Um, the seven plus. Oh no, that's too high. Uh, 17. That's dirty 20 damage of fire as these two moats just. <laughs> hat. It's fine. Fire hat. Ow. Um, and that is all uh, he's gonna do. He is still flying. His cloud is just elsewhere. Uh, Luca's doing the thing. Umberlie, um, Umberlie 
is gonna say, Oi! Devilman! Hit your fucking friend! Get out of our house and way. Um, he's gonna be like, damn, okay. Um, and Umbrella is gonna skiddly hop. Skiddly doodly. Hi, friends! Um, wait, you're here? Um, <laughs> is looking really hurt. Everyone's kind of healed pretty good. Look at you guys healing. Ah! So good to see. So proud of you. You guys are almost doing too well. It would be a shame if more demons came out, but it's too late. Um, Umberly is going to. Uh, charm person isn't. Hmm. Is it mean me 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 uh, make money no whammy. Umber lies a parasol what? sword. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah. Her her bestie, her new bestie, um, uh, Fenella Desai gifted a one. That's fucking red. <laughs> Thank you. Um, it's just parasol. Whoop, umbrella bit goes up. Enemy looks at the umbrella. <laughs> Meanwhile, get stabbed. <laughs> um. Oh fuck. Oh the. 22. Damn, Umbrella! Coming up in here being a fucking melee bard? The fuck? The audacity. Alright. Oh, well, that's a two to hit. <laughs> so it's five damage, but it looks really cool. Uh <laughs> <laughs> I'll take it. <laughs> um, and with that, it is uh, Cambion. Cambion 2's go. Um, he's gonna boom, <laughs> bomb rush Cambion 1. <laughs> Um, he's, they're gonna grapple. They're gonna, they're gonna wrestle. They're gonna kissy wissy smoochy woochy in the sky. <laughs> um, uh, it does not go well. Um, it does not go well. They kind of just clash awkwardly. Cambion one pushes him off, and uh, Cambion will make a proper melee attack. And fucking miss. Good job, Cambion 2. Fucking idiot. Your friend's mean, but at least he can fucking hit. Um, alright. Well, that was underwhelming. Uh, Ice Devil's turn. <laughs> Uh-oh. It's not quite been six turns, which is very lucky for everyone involved. Oh, I don't have to attack the same person. Oh, well, we've got a nice little lineup of three people in a row here. That's nice, isn't it? What colour dice do you all want? Who wants the blood colour dice? <laughs> it sounds bad, but it's actually surprisingly lucky. <laughs> Is there a green one? There's a blue one. Wait, where is my green one? I should have a green one. I don't know where it's gone. All right, I'm a dice goblin. What? And what? No, what? I love it when people like answer you with like a whole other fucking thing that you didn't ask about. <laughs> <laughs> what color do you want? Blood. Oh, actually, I do. I do. Okay. Wee. Oh shit. Who's gonna get hit? Uh, Ludo. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I forgot. Um, even with your armor. <laughs> And a natural three does a 13 hit. My armor class is 10. <sighs> okay. A 19 hits Umberly. Does a 16 hit you, Beform? Yep. Ooh, three for three. Ouchie wouchies. That's not good. Um, okay. That's fine. There's a higher chance of survival now that you have friends. Luda! <laughs> Ooh! Uh, nine plus. Oh, fuck. That's too many max damages. 
Um, that is uh, nine points of piercing damage plus four points of cold damage for a total of 13. Myth. Gotcha. Um, Umberlai is going to take the slightly lower of the two hits. Oh, fuck. Uh, three plus five is still eight. Um, plus one, which is nine. Not very lucky, Jesus. Um, and Bifon, you still have elemental resistance, so I will keep that in mind when I give you your numbers. Yeah. Um, oh. Uh, five plus five is ten. So you've got ten damage, and then I'm just rolling your cold damage now. Ooh, four, which is halved to two. So that is twelve points of damage total for you. Bivon! That was way less bad when it was shared out for everyone. All right. Final round to survive. Y'all got this. Bifon, it is your turn, Tarquin! Cam Tarquin! Camellia and Nunavayani. You're all up in deck, but right now it's the turn of Bifon the Stairs! <laughs> what would you like to do? I'm sorry. Uh, ooh, are there specific way? There's um, specific attacks that can, like, cripple enemies and stuff, right? I believe so, yes. Okay. Just wanted to know if I had to improvise something or if that was a thing that existed. Since it exists, I'm assuming if I don't have those things, I can't do those things. Um, um I allow like a, I can't remember what, um, I call it. I got an RP uh, idea if you want to, if you want to oh, work it out. No, no, please what were you going to say know. though? Um, well, generally I say like, if you want to try something a little bit crazy, um, you can, you just might roll at disadvantage or the difficulty will be higher. To hit. Cool. Uh, what I would so like you... to do is yeah. I have a short sword that I don't need. Uh huh. If I give that short sword up, could I maybe throw that at Cambion One's wings and drop it in the pit? You can certainly try. What do I need? Cambion one. I mean, if there was a sword coming at it from this direction, I would technically count that as a uh, ambush, like surrounded situation, because mm -hmm. it's it's dealing with Cambion two shit show shenanigans right now. <laughs> so I think that would cancel it out to just a straight throw, a straight um, thrown attack. Um, because I was just going to sell this thing, but, like, I'm not counting it like I'm using a weapon attack or anything. Like, my like my thing that comes back to me or anything like that. Or, yeah. like, using an arrow. Is there a way that I can just totally disable one of its wings if I just throw away the short sword? That's what I'm asking. And if you agree, what am I hitting for and with and disadvantage? So you, get, you get plus seven <laughs> to a short sword hit. Um, I would say you just roll d20 add plus seven um if it hits uh he will roll a strength or a constitution saving throw what do you mean because d20 he is plus seven to hit with the sword also the d20 sword. with a seven on top of it yeah which okay. is what you would do if you had a normal short sword attack like if i would throw my dagger or something yeah and it would be a disadvantage, gotcha. but because he's already kind of ambushed-ish enough to be to have me satisfied that it's an ambush, uh, I would allow you to roll a straight roll instead. Um, and so, yeah, it would just be a d20 plus 7. And then uh, if it hits, he will have to roll a strength saving throw because he's already at the lower end of his health. Or a constitution, strength or constitution. We good at that? Whichever's, um, whichever's, I think, I mean, if you were flying, if you were flying, what would you say that is? I, th mm -hmm. 
JC, would you like to chime in? My uh, idea is just to at least disable one of these yeah. enemies so we're not taking so many damn hits. You'd like to, to rip off one of their wings or something? Like, yeah, I'm throwing a whole sorry. ass short sword at one of his wings. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, what were you trying to figure out? That's what I'm asking, Jason. Yeah. You said something about flying. Yeah, what, were you, what was the flying thing? Yeah, what were you um, saying, Key? Yeah, uh, so the Cambion, Cambion one is flying, so I was wondering if you were trying to save when, like, your wing is broken. Would that be, like, a strength or a deck save or a con save? I'm not sure what mm. I would count that as. So if you're specifically trying to, like, disable it or restrain it, like basically making immobilize it basically i'd mm. say yeah like it's like a trick shot maybe give it disadvantage and then if it hits it uh restrain immobilizes it you know not yeah. something which saving not, throw not... would it have to yeah. make against so that? give it uh give it let's see if it hits and then we'll go okay figure out plan from there <laughs> yeah cool. thank you guys because, yeah, it 15 would be... 15 plus 7. That fucking hits, my guy. Uh -huh. Um... Let's... Mm, I'll roll Probably something. be a deck save if it's trying to, like, stay in the air, right? Yeah. <laughs> Nat 2's not going to do much good. Um, Bifon, please describe to us what happens as you throw this short sword at Cambium 1. <laughs> And beef on as usual, pulling shit out of his backpack. This is, I don't need this damn short sword. Um, and because beef on is beefy, um, he flips it upside down and holds the blade as if this damn sh gladius were a dagger. <laughs> oh, yeah. And just, with all of his might, throws it past everybody's face. <laughs> yeah, Umberlai like, just drags Ludo down actually, to duck. Because Umberlai <laughs> is always getting stuff on her. Umberlai, duck! <laughs> <laughs> Pulls Ludo down with her. And then with all of his might, just yeets this shit at Cambion 1, trying to sever one of its wings. And it just slices uh, through the skin of one of its wings. And as Cambion 2 kind of clumsily bumps into it again, it just, like a like an aeroplane going down, just... <laughs> <laughs> Except there's no... Because it just keeps... Just keeps on falling and it don't stop falling. Doesn't hit the ground at all, let alone running. <laughs> Cambion 1 is defeated. GG! Nice. Thank you for enter entertaining me. Uh, oh, I fuck you. will. I'm here to enable. I stay by my way. <laughs> uh, with my second action, I will ready a dodge. Oh, okay. Sweet. And Bunny? Uh, Grimishka will. Mish is feeling froggy. They're gonna take another. They're gonna go for another hit. Oh that shit! Was, let's go. Uh, Twenty plus four, right? Yep. You got. You oh, got it. Hmm. It, 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 it. Taking a thirteen does not. Again, hit. it it hits. It just doesn't do anything. <laughs> just... <laughs> <laughs> just sharpens his claws a little bit more. I, I just I'd... pat it on the head and say, good job, out of your turn. Oh, you want them to run towards you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I just reach nice. over. We're like about five okay. feet away. I just reach really far. And get... pat, pat. And comes back round. <laughs> Couldn't do that safely. <laughs> it's turn. All right, Tarquin, you are on deck. Wait, 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 wait. Whoa, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. No. No, no, no. Okay, cool. No. <laughs> okay. Beleth. Dark Queen, it is your turn. What are we doing? Alright. So, I guess uh, I'm going to attack the big guy. Okay. And you would do so at advantage because it is 
ambush the fuck up right now. <laughs> a little, oh, a little bit fun. surrounded. <laughs> just, just a tad surrounded. So, question: All my is is just one attack that gets advantage, or multiple attacks? All of them. Oh my god. As long as it's ambushed. Because I got a lot of attacks. Oh, I know. <laughs> you don't need the fucking... <laughs> That's a natural 20. Oh, my God. <laughs> nice. That's a 25. The... You all know the goal wasn't to kill anything, right? It was just to survive. <laughs> get advantage on this one. I mean, while we're here. <laughs> I don't know if it's going to die, but it'll certainly remember us. Oh, um, yeah. Oh, again, yeah. Advantage. Oh, my God. Okay, so I hit three times. Okay. And one was a critical hit, so. Oh. Let's I have to go. calculate. Monty Fun Button rules. Full damage and then rolled Let's damage go. in addition. Ten. Shout out, Monty Plus Fun Button. King behavior. Seven, 29, and 13 is 42 damage. Nice. My whistle did not come out well, but that attack did. Dang. Good job. Good job. Good job. Bam. Well, it's into double digits. <laughs> um, good job. All right. Anything else you would like to do? Uh, no, that's all. Okay. You know, uh, just, turn... uh, to oh. be fair, I should be closer, I guess. Yeah, well, uh, we... There you go. You just stand next to a little tiny Grimishka yeah. cat. Just. Oh, a cat. <laughs> kitty, kitty. Pss, 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 pss. <laughs> just look, see. If, you know, looking at it, if Tarkin was a cat, <laughs> it would probably be this little, this little mm. Grimishka. This slightly, slightly dark gray kind of Sphinx vibe to it. I like it. Slightly more scrunkly than uh, Tarquin is, though. <laughs> Not as neat. <laughs> Camellia! What would you like to do? Uh, heal myself again. <laughs> Bad. <laughs> very just, valid, very valid. Just need a little, need a little cure wounds. That's very fair. Get a little bit of uh, cure wounds. Okay, right, for... F six. That's good, good. You know if you're a monk, you'd be able to do eight. <laughs> <laughs> fucking nuts monk <laughs> just capitals zero monk then oh, I'll just... I gotta pray sorry <laughs> I'll just move toward everybody else <laughs> I kind of <laughs> this is not how I figured this would go y'all just around this ice devil bullying it <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and, yeah. Uh, speaking of bullying, can I stab him? <laughs> With advantage, naturally. Mm -hmm. Oh my! I love, I love how the face was one of terror to slight alarm. Now, just on the fucking picture, he's just like, eh? <laughs> <laughs> he came here trying to terrorize us, and now we're bullying him. Yeah, right. <laughs> yo, yo, we'll rum you from, homie. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. I don't think I've ever seen you around here before, though. <laughs> I'm from Nels. I don't give a fuck where you from. You don't come around here. Nah, 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 nah. Shh, 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 shh. <laughs> when did you get Camille? 13. <laughs> 13 does not hit uh, with advantage no that does not hit i'm afraid it does hit it just kind of slides off of its uh armoring uh is there anything else you would like to do i'm good uh bunny is here pets are a free action <laughs> hmm, that's just cat. just running circles around this little five foot area <laughs> Um, <laughs> Ludo, it is your turn. What would you like to do? Okay, this is the last round we need to survive, right? Yes. All right, I guess I'll just whack it. 
as well. So I... jump, jump in. Everybody's beating the shit out of this guy. Give <laughs> <laughs> me your money, Ice Devil. <laughs> Mom said it's my turn to hit the Ice Devil. <laughs> Do you remember when we were all afraid of it? Wasn't yep. that great? That's A fine. 18 to hit? It's not like I've been planning this for fucking months. Yeah, 18 yeah, to Take your fucking ice, yo, ice war with you. <laughs> <laughs> look, look, man, I just... I just, I just, I just it's just, fucking just, bullshit. Just. 13 points of bonk bonk. 18 points. 13, Dang. 13, 13. Oh, 13, 13. Thirteen. Y'all, y'all, no, this might still die. You might, you might still die. Oh, yeah, shit. Sure. Alright, anything else? Lutobayani. Nope, that's it. Lutobayani. Cambion A, gone. Uh, Luca, almost done. Uh, Umbrella is just like, how can, how can, you know, it's just gonna fucking stab again. She's fucking powerful as shit. Hacha. Um, yep, that uh, 12 plus 6 is 18. 18 hits. God damn. Oh, well, that's one point of damage. Plus 3 is 4. She rolls really well to hit. It's the damage that is like... <laughs> bleh, bleh. <laughs> She's oh Yuna. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Just steps forward. Bonk! <laughs> <laughs> One, one, one basic staff damage. <laughs> Should have used a blitz ball. Um, right. uh, and with that, it is Cambion B's turn. Cambion B is still, still fucking charmed. So he's gonna join in. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking hate you guys and also love you guys. This is stupid. Um, oh, almost a nat 20. And an 8 plus 7 Oof. is a 16, which doesn't quite hit. Um, so that's going to be 1d8. Oh my god. I'm fucking also rolled shit for fucking damage. 6 plus 4. That's 10. Okay, and it's now Ice Devil's turn. <laughs> um, he's he's gonna go. Uh, he's one turn away from being able to cast Wall of Ice. You lucky bastards! You fucking lucky bastards! Um, yeah, and it sucks because if y'all cast a spell on him. Would have really, would have really helped him out, but no. Um, alright. Uh, he's gonna go for... Who's looking weakest? <laughs> uh, yeah, he's gonna go for, um, Rely, Wuto, and Bifon. Um, Rely, Ludo, Bifon. Luto Bayani Luto Bayani You know what? There are three dice before me. Two of them are very hits. Yeah. And one of them is a natural one. There's a blue dice, a clear dice, and a red dice. Um which dice would you like, Ludo? The blood because dice. Because only only one of these will save you. Okay. Dime, would you like the red dice or the red dice or blue clear. dice? Oh, the clear. Uh, uh, Wait, which one did JC then. say? I said I, I said the blood. I thought the red red dice was the blood dice. I'll choose the red dice. Oh no. Okay. So and then beef on you want the clear dice? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, you both did a phenomenal job at avoiding the natural one. <laughs> nice. High five. <laughs> High five across the nation, high five. Hey. <laughs> so, in one last attempt at glory. I'm gonna, I'm gonna roll my interception while you do that. 
Oh, what, for Umberlai? Who is getting hit huh? by a natural one? <laughs> or for Oh, no, yourself? for Ludo! No, oh, I can't roll for gotcha. myself. I have to defend someone else. <laughs> gotcha. So that's minus six to whatever you take, Ludo. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right, Ludo. Um, that is... Uh, hang on. Myths. Uh, oh, fuck. Seven plus five is twelve plus twelve plus one. It's Thirteen ice damage minus six. Did you say? Yep. Okie dokie. Do the math. <laughs> <laughs> I'm out. <laughs> My math gone. Uh, Umberlay swiftly dodges out the way. And, uh... Bifon? Bifon? Yeah. Oh, no. Eight plus five is... Thirteen? Mm-hmm. Plus... Two, because reduced. Um... Eight, thirteen... Fifteen. Fifteen damage. Cool. And Umbrella is like Duck bitch. Foom. <laughs> Tail just foom <laughs> into Ludo and Bifon. And with that the ritual is complete. Hooray. As the ritual completes, I change screen. <laughs> To, ah, shit. Uh, and we're gonna go to. Oh, shit. Let me take That's off the map. <laughs> yes. Yes, then go. All right. We can go here. Thank you for map. No worries. And don't let me ever see you around here no more. <laughs> <laughs> As this creature up... uh, is fully bullied <laughs> for its lunch money. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, would you would you like to do some? What were you about to say before? Oh, I was just gonna take Bunny, give them a pets and stuff like that. Okay. It's my first time using Scoop. the the bag of cats. Scoop and them up. Just I don't know how to de manifest them. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna see if I can remember what I was taught and then put it back in the bag and stuff. <laughs> Stuffing just it in. The shove bag. the cat in the bag. Well, it, um, I'll, I'll wait till it fades away. I think it just fades away after a while, right? We'll, yeah. Maybe Luca will want to see after- the cat. Uh, Bifon scoops up the cat confused, and as he does, you all see the darkness around Luca thickening once again before all this fog absorbs quickly as almost uh, reverse footage goes back towards Luca and explodes outwards, and you see the remaining Cambion and Ice Devil both... And retreat back into the deep, deep depths of the no, world that was too. torn. You were my friend. <laughs> <laughs> he will. He will. He will kiss his. He will like put his hand to his lips and blow a kiss to you all uh, before retreating down the hall. Like I must go. Farewell. <laughs> I was about to sell my soul to a god for that guy. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Um, and they both retreat uh, away as Actilaneth's power takes over and kind of spreads once again across the lake and as you see them retreat down um, back into the depths you see these small kind of rocky islands appear like an elemental staircase down and round and part of the waterfall that now lies there maybe permanently uh thanks to this ritual uh opens up and you see two doors adorned each in the middle with actilaneth's sigil as luca floats back down to the water and kind of eyes closed her outfit even more fucking glorious than it was before um very much very dark midnight purpley blue now. Oh, perfect time of music. music. Thank you. Um, 
It's almost like I've been preparing for this for ages. Um, and she opens her eyes and her irises where they were bluer again after her unfortunate demise are bluer even more to a point of just very bright cobalt blue. And she looks up to you all. Ah! <sighs> Thank you for, um... That... I, I could only hear stuff? Um... That sounded really cool. Uh... But, please, let's go see the shrine, shall we? Okay. And she kind of <laughs> runs and hops down the, um... Hops down the stairs towards the shrine doors and waits for you all to follow and pets Bunny <laughs> eventually when you all make it down there. Yeah, I'll be right there, Bunny. Maybe some healing a little bit. Okay. I will sort that when I am in inside. I'm so excited. Are you guys ready? Uh-huh. Am I ready? I don't know. <laughs> And she'll push the doors apart, and inside you see kind of this large um, uh, brazier in the center of this um, kind of fairly church-like, uh, deep-colored. Um, this song? No, don't play music. I have a song. Oh, I lit. Sorry. Literally put it next. It's because I knew I'd forget. Thanks. Um, you see this large um, brazier of fire in the center, this kind of dark mustardy color again, rather than the regular um, color of flames. And these all other torches lit along this kind of very traditional, almost chapel-shaped, uh, small chapel-shaped building, um, all made of very dark, almost a deep lapis lazuli, um, with flecks of gold amidst all of the deep blue um, in grey blue stone. <sighs> Isn't it amazing? <laughs> oh, healing! That's right. Sorry, sorry. Um, and she'll <laughs> get you all nearby, and um, she'll put her hands together and begin speaking her in infernal prayers to her demonic mistress. And <laughs> and uh, she will heal you all back uh, for four health between you all. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> oh, that's too much maths. Let's call it 40 hit points. <laughs> Way too much maths. Uh, <sighs> May her blessings light your way. This is the first of her temples in this realm. Isn't that exciting? Is that what we did here today? We made this temple? I guess so. Oh. Well, you made sure we were able to. Probably wouldn't have gone as well if uh, those demons had managed to intervene. Guess they wanted Actilinath all for themselves or something. Hmm. Yeah, any idea why they'd want to stop us? Oh. Uh, I will meditate on it. She kind of looks like she's kind of read the rule books recently, and she's like, yes, that that's rule three, addendum four. Yeah. I will don't remember I'll read up on it <laughs> but I know where to look now oh, yes I'm a good I'm a good little priest for my lady <laughs> so I... you good is it everything More you hoped so... it would be oh well, for that I don't know <laughs> I think it will be a long journey still from here but you know, um, I'm sure there'll be a fair share of, uh, neighbors who are slightly mad that these, uh, their beautiful 
placid, tranquil lake is slightly different now. Uh, maybe we'll get some illusions going on <laughs> there. Uh, see if we can get any more people believing in Actilineth. And I... This would be the neighborhood for it. <laughs> yes, certainly enough temples. And I... I guess I have you guys to thank for all of this. We're happy to help you, Luca. You shouldn't have helped her. Uh, this I'm... is devil magic. Uh, I'm and definitely I... happy to help you. Oh, good. <laughs> That's really good. Um. I have faith you're going to do good for Actelineth. Okay. That's... Yeah. I... Yeah, I guess that's the way to look at it. <laughs> um... I guess that means I am gonna stay here, though. And... Do work for... My dark mistress. <laughs> um... You see, like, what was once, like, a... M managing to keep composed exterior is... Just very slowly cracking. Under the realization that this is probably goodbye. <laughs> um, you know, uh, without you guys, uh, I wouldn't, I mean, I might not have died, but I also wouldn't be alive again. <laughs> um, and I, I wish there was more I could do about Lady being an altar. I know that is technically against your mission, but I trust that you will all make the right decisions with things. And that should our paths cross again, it will be in peace. I hope so, too. Just, uh, to be realistic here, you know that might not be the case, right, Luca? Yes. If I have any way to prevent that meeting happening, I will do what I can. I don't think it's something either of us should have to suffer through. Just do us a favor. Give us a call if uh, your mistress turns out to be a little too dark. Of course. And give us some heads up if uh, the mistresses are deciding that we're the next target. <laughs> um, and, you know, if you need uh, someone who knows about demonic and uh, devil-bound magic and deities, then... You know where I am, and you can always send a message. <laughs> I'll reply as fast as I can. Always. And say I thought it'd be you, but we know who to call. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It, uh, turns out that way sometimes. No, oh, come here! And just kind of goes in for a big, big hug for the group. <laughs> big, big group hug. Mm. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. sorry. <sighs> right. Uh, well, um, you know, if you want to throw one last prayer to the Dark Mistress, <laughs> now is your chance. <laughs> um, but if not, I completely understand and respect that. Um, she's gonna roll something real quick. Kind of oh, shocked up oh. with another god nowadays. Yeah, I was gonna ask. I'm getting a strange feeling from you, Ludo. Yeah, I have this god. He's like kind of like an angel god. Probably like the opposite of Bakdulineth, to be honest. I j j j just, just be careful. Um, and... You know, if you find yourself in 
demonic uh, places of worship, maybe don't, like, mention it? Or maybe just, like, take extra care in them, just in case. <laughs> hmm. Hey, Luca, does your god ever, like, whisper to you? Like, all the time? Well, when I commune with her, she gives me comfort. But yeah. n never when you're, like, not communing with her? Well, sometimes if the spiritual connection is deep that day. Hmm. Okay. I think my god very is very strong. bored. Oh. Um. Oh, I don't know if that's a reason they commune with their followers. Hey, Luca. Um. Uh, yeah? No matter what, fight very hard for what you believe in. Even if it puts you in the way of people like us. No matter what, always fight for what you believe in. You too, Ludo. I mean, you guys are the ones that taught me that. <laughs> Not many people would do a deal with a demon to a demonic goddess of all people to bring a person you barely know back to life. And I mean, the sheer number of heists it took to <laughs> make sure that Umberlay was okay. Yeah, it was. It was a lot of heists. That that is um, <laughs> that is true. So, got an open it. connection. <clears throat> Excuse me. Get an open connection right now. Um, I think so. Why? If they're willing to say so what are their plans here you see the flames and the fire pit behind luca just kind of curl see the familiar fingers kind of curl around the outside of it and the shadowy silhouette of actilina three appears our deal is done it's done there is no more left to share without further deals being done. And currently Arden. I have no wish for that. I didn't mean to bother you or anything. I was just going to ask Luca to ask you. Because uh, I don't want to have to come back here. Are we going to have to come back here? That is not up to us. To us. Fucking deities. All right. Take care, Aki. <laughs> they are very good at um, fakeness. Mm -hmm. um, but do all please take care and feel free to send a message every now and then. Even if it's to the brothel, um, you can send it to... Um, you know, like, that guy that, um, hugged me was pretty cool, so you can always send him a message, and I, I, I'll, I'll tell him yeah. where. I, shut up, it's not like that. <laughs> Alright, so we send a letter to the hugging man, and he will tell you all that we want to share with you. The, the hugging man, yeah, and, um, yeah. Don't worry, we will find a way to keep in touch. Just uh, do your things and remember that you have friends in us. Likewise. Good luck, Luca. Thank you. And may the Lady of Twilight guide your way. Wherever darkness lies, know that light is always soon behind. And she'll try and be a professional and kind of give you a little bow <laughs> and try not to run into another hug again and take care I shall not <laughs> <laughs> and um do you leave the temple yeah I guess we're out of here mm -hmm. I'm good to go uh, Umbrella, I will kind Come on, of... Come bunny. 
Um, I will hold back for just a moment and just whisper something in her ear and give her a really, really, really big hug. Look after yourself, okay? Okay. All right, time coming. Ugh. So who's this round on? <sighs> and the doors close behind you. I don't know, but I'm starving. Are you going to cook us something? Or... You know, I'm tired from that fight. What if uh, somebody else cook us something? I mean, I can give it a go. Nah, I meant like a restaurant. I'll, I'll, I'll get it. I'll get it. <laughs> There's a ton of restaurants in town, right? Yeah, just, plenty, plenty of good restaurants. What's that supposed to mean? Next time, next time, you can assist me and we'll cook something together, baby. Oh, wouldn't Esamic be better at cooking with you? Oh, Ooh. is that what this is? You're jealous? I and knew it. As this banter continues and the group heads back into town after another successful day and a bittersweet goodbye, that is indeed where we shall leave it. For today. Yay! Ooh. Good sesh, good sesh. Jeez. Nice, I almost mm. die again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was um, that would have been a problem. <laughs> <laughs> that would have added another whole little mini arc to like, well, guess we gotta go to the hells and fish for <laughs> fish for Tarquin. <laughs> mm. <laughs> but yes, thank you, Zombie B for your support. We love Luca. She is living in the world. She is always there. Yeah. And who knows? The the group may need an expert in demonic devil deities. At some or point. come back and kill Actilaneth and then fight Luca. Yay! Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Perfect. we could kill her and revive her. We, yeah. We True. Reviving people. Find her dead, revive her. I'm sure, Luca could just cast a spell. Mm hmm. <laughs> yeah. I you can revive people now, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you've got the if you got the gal. Well it says the gold. Um I think we mentioned it a while back. Um you might not have been here. Um oops. But I need to start calling people their names again. I'm two DM two DM mode. Um <laughs> But um, yeah, it will be the gold, but there'll also be like, um, it will be less gold, but there'll be more of an RP element to revival, I think. Was okay. Because it. it's just like 200 gold and a fucking revival by Bush, 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 you're alive again, motherfucker. Like, eh. Mm. <laughs> like, well, it seems like a bit bigger deal than that. Yeah, um, they could just find that in some couch cushions. <laughs> really, though? Oh, that is my other question. Uh, would you guys have given Danny the flute, the magic flute, or would you be like, we'll keep this for a little, little moment longer? Because I believe it was Tarquin that picked up the flute. So yeah, and it's would, very would shiny. You, would you, would you have given it to Danny before he popped back off to the Feywild, or just if keep hold he asked of it for nicely? Now? But I don't <laughs> think he did. I don't I'm think sure he, he did. Would, explicitly do that yeah well we'll assume for for that reason that uh you are still holding on to the flute <laughs> the whole reason we did the heist was to get the flute for danny <laughs> the only reason we did the heist is because of danny asking no we also got maracas we and the heist was not for maracas Aster. <gasps> speaking of Pentagon Aster. Oh, we go to the trunk and it's like flies. He's <laughs> dead. You know what? Because y'all did really well, and I wouldn't originally be like, level up, but it's like not been that long yet. Audience. The camera pans as the group walks away into the into the into the sunset, into the horizon. And the camera pans to the Osprea playhouse where oh, there is a hole in the in the front where a ca horse and carriage was crashed into it <laughs> <laughs> and as the camera 
goes through, goes through the staff room, but through to the back. We see Kentagonaster's stage door, dressing room door, closed. But what if we could see inside the room? I posted a little something in the Discord earlier for my first roll of the day. Um, All right. <laughs> I think Rubes has figured it out. As the camera goes inside the dressing room, we see the piles upon piles of posters, half signed, half yet unsigned. We see a lack of maracas, a lack of tin whistle, and seemingly no sign of anything else particularly missing because the group did well at covering their tracks. Where once stood a closed and locked trunk with one Kentaganaste a blood inside. One would now see splintered wood, hinges, locks, and a variety of pieces of wood and metal strewn about the room. And a significant increase in light from the hole that has been created in the ceiling that goes through the ceiling through the rest of the building and out into the skies above Jinhua and just perched on the roof where the hole is formed a feather dark and inky we're only with the man. Unfortunately, the boy got an at 20 to escape. <laughs> mm. so, oh boy. Ooh. But he, you know, he's not fully well. He's not, you know, in tip top form and shape. So, there we have it. But that's something to worry about next week. Just a little, a little taster tidbit. Sneaky, sneaky peeky. Guys, tell oh, your friends just... about the campaign. <laughs> tell everyone. <laughs> Share. And all that good stuff. Because uh, just as you closed, uh, just as you, bleh, can't talk anymore. Um, just as you closed, uh, it started to rain. It's not cooler yet, but there is hope. Ooh, yay! <laughs> there is hope. This is a very, very blessed campaign. Hope is good. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, I was really... like, you know, hoping for a nat one, and I was like, oh, well, fucking <laughs> kill build himself out of there. <laughs> Guess we're gonna have to kick his ass again. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> this is fine. This is what fine. What shame! Um, yeah, Baltimore just sees a giant bird. <laughs> and just, oh, that's weird. Anyway, <laughs> yay. We're gonna yay. get a long rest stuffed into a box. <laughs> mm -mm. No, I was like, with, with wingspan, <laughs> paint being fully shoved into this box. Not in a comfortable position. Not really enough room to move around. Not getting a long rest. So he just, he literally just fucking kept falcon punching his way. <laughs> mm. But he managed. I flew off. Fair enough. Still, still quite painty. <laughs> Tune in next session as the gang look for a... a a purple crane that was seen flying through the sky at mysterious <laughs> times of the day. <laughs> but yes, and thank you again, V, for Luca. She's yes, it 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 is um always an interesting process, I think, especially for players, but also for people who um who do opt into having characters in the campaign. It's like they they have their own lives, like they're just. They're just going about their day, you know, like Citra's trying to fucking deal with Wendell's bullshit and just trying to like 
get as much as she can out of his money and like impress his parents so she can do that. Um like Willow's still trying to wrangle the family. Like there's just all little microcosms and climates of, of character. And Luke is gonna be converting the fuck out of people. <laughs> She's gonna have flyers. She's gonna be up there with <laughs> It's gonna be up there with uh, Dremblin. Just, just. I was gonna to say like... that Axolotl is gonna hate the fuck up. Yup. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be that crowd. She's gonna go past the brothel. They're gonna be like, "Hey, Luca," and she's gonna be like, "Hey," and Dremblin's gonna be like, "This is, this is absurd. This is abhorrent behavior." Um, and, and then be Luca's gonna invite everybody in for some Kool Aid. <laughs> 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 So, it's not actually an orgy I wanted in this shrine. See, there's this woman called Actilineth. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. She's but... gonna have hug parties. <laughs> yeah. orgy, cuddle oh puddle. my god, mm -hmm. I wanna go to a cuddle party. There's just loads of cups of tea, like pots of tea. <laughs> and juice and, and comfy food. You gotta have that wasberry juice. <gasps> Cannot forget the Wasberry. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, but yes, I, I hope that was a worthwhile close to um to Luca's story. It's it's been in the works for a while. Uh, I'm happy with how it turned out, even if you did bully my fucking scary demons. Don't appreciate that. Um but it was very funny. So I they, they bullied it. us for a while. <laughs> they they were yeah. bullying us for a good minute. Mm -hmm. But nobody went down. Oh, it's still hurt. Yeah. You ruined my plans a lot, Key. You need to stop. <laughs> oh fucking likewise. <laughs> Do you know what in like us <laughs> being a DM is you make plans, you you enjoy making plans, and then you do something the fuck else for <laughs> a few hours every time. <laughs> it's two entirely entirely I'm, different things. I'm just saying you're mad that we're alive. <laughs> I'm also proud of you that you're alive. But the D the DM part of me that plays the baddies has to be mad about it. <laughs> mm -hmm. I have to want to kill you, but then I can be happy that I don't. <laughs> no, I love the shenanigans. My my favorite thing is the fucking sniper fight with Camellia and that guard. Mm -hmm. It's great. <laughs> it, it had some it had some flashbacks to um, the uh, friggin' um, Yanka snipe sniper battle <laughs> mm. with the basilisk fight <laughs> where is she fuck <laughs> oh god yeah. it's just the you know who wouldn't have missed me <laughs> it's just a picture of yanka oh my god um anyway <laughs> am i the only one uh, who thought the who saw the whole lion person thing going completely differently like, for some reason, I had this whole time, I had this thought that he was going to be this noble, distinguished gentleman, and we'd have to deliver some kind of message, and then he'd make us do some kind of side quest for him, and it would be very uh, <laughs> difficult, and it would be, like, our next big arc. But I did not expect, like, the bro, <laughs> like, the frat bro who's just like, all right, let's go, cool, awesome, <laughs> what? let's go. I thought we were getting, like, information or something from him. <laughs> It doesn't yeah. all have to be serious all the time. I mean, we can make it deadly and dangerous all the time if you want. Yeah, it, doesn't, it doesn't have to be serious. That's why we're staying in a brothel. <laughs> you like, show, we showed up and he's like, oh, cool, my Uber's here. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. That's exactly how I felt. He's not wrong. He's like, oh, you guys ain't ready? No worries. Five stars anyway. <laughs> Catch you later. No, no, take your time. I'm cool whenever. Just been hanging out. <laughs> what are you guys doing tonight? You just want to hang out? Proudreach by, na by name, Bardemos by nature. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, I wasn't quite sure how that would go either, but he's just a chill guy. He's, yeah, he's just a guy. You know, he'll be working underneath you, so he's not going to be like, 
My name is Bottomos Proud. Although that would be really funny. Just my, my name is Bottomos Proudreach. I must avenge my father. <laughs> what do you want me to do? You want me? You want me to buy armor? You want me to buy leather armor? <sighs> well, I guess I can. I guess I can do that. But one day I would love to avenge my father. Do you need food? I, c I can go buy rations as well. <laughs> All right, cool. One day I really hope to buy. Okay, a Shetland <laughs> pony specifically. Oh, cause he's short. I see. Okay. Could we not just get like a tall horse and then a lad? No. Okay. So armor, food, yeah. and a Shetland pony, ideally with pink mane. But one day I will avenge my. <laughs> I was ex I was totally expecting some like big intimidating <laughs> Severus Snape lion man, and he's like, he is big and going to the store. You guys want me to get you anything? <laughs> Okay, JC has to do his voice from now on. <laughs> <laughs> I was just like, yeah, you're you're hired. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I should have sent him. Yeah, I'm good. Oh, uh, I love him. No, I was just like, because I was like, what's the vibe? And I saw like a picture of a Leona and I was like, yeah, I like that kind of teenage lion vibe. I was like, what do you be like? Yeah, but I was proud of each. I'm like, no, I like the Australian vibe. And then it, and then it just went, it went too far. It went too far. <laughs> just like hanging out on the beach, just cracking a cold on open with the boys. Oh, you want to crack a cold on open with the boys? Nice, good times. All right, so what's your deals? Like, what's your favorite color? <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's great. I love him. Oh, uh, and he's all yours. <laughs> Oh, Bar oh, oh my god, Barnabas talking to Barnabas? Oh my god. Oh, oh. no. <laughs> <laughs> Key, you who better get, better yourself. Who can get yep. who can get disguise self fastest? <laughs> Recreate his voice. Oh shit. Just specifically a spell that is disguise self as Barnabas. <laughs> you can't disguise yourself as anyone else. It has to be Bartimaeus. <laughs> Bartimaeus or Uncle Jing Jong. Uh, uh, <laughs> I would have chosen Bartimaeus. <laughs> I miss him. I'm so sad he's dead. But like, he had no fucking chance. <laughs> <laughs> We're only a couple levels away from, you know... True resurrection, that's all I'm saying. My god. Mm. Hey, yo, I mean there's there's always I mean the you know, Muro's looking to extend his natural life span, you know. Could also chuck in a bring back Uncle Jing Jong <laughs> 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 oh, <my God. laughs> Don't I know. <laughs> don't do don't do all right, all right, let's go, let's go. We gotta go. <sighs> Thank you guys for coming along. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. Thank Thanks you for the hype so train. Thanks for the raid. <laughs> yes, thank you for all the support. It very, very much means a lot. Um, he's super okay, Marker. He's super fine. Mm -hmm. Um. <laughs> Yeah. Everything's fine. Nothing yeah. happens in episode five. There's actually we're talking about a different Uncle Jing Jong. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's uh, it's, it, yeah. I that time I did steal it entirely from Matt Mercer. <laughs> Matt Mercer also has Uncle Jing Jong, but he's no, it's not, not. No, his is way better. Um, I can't even joke. <laughs> no, <laughs> Uncle Jing Jong is all ours. Um, but yes. Uh, thank you all for coming, GG team. Please go and check them out on all the links that Scorpio very kindly shared. Thank you, Scorpio, for keeping up on all of that. Very much appreciated. Thank um, you. We have Discord. You can come and join. There is so much fan art, so much good meme. Um, we also throw in controversial topics every now and then because we like the drama. <laughs> <laughs> and sometimes it's just like, hey, is Daddy gonna punch a kid? Discuss. Uh, it's very entertaining. Um, and you are more than welcome there uh, to come and join us. And if you liked Luca's 
uh, character arc, you can also go and check out the coffee and get your own character in the series, whether in a small role or in an even larger role. And we can give you art, maybe, or other things, and you can get immersed in stuff, and it'll be super cool. But either way, you being here and watching this, if you're hearing these words, unless, like, someone's listening in my room, which is... I shouldn't have mentioned because I'm creeped out. Um, <laughs> if you're hearing this, you're freaking cool. If you're so freaking cool, like I'd crack a cold one open with you any time. Five stars <laughs> on Uber. <laughs> um, I can't wait for Bartimaeus and yeah, Bar. Bart 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 Sorry, thank you, thank you. <laughs> I've had too much juice. Thank you for yelling at me. I needed it. Uh, love you guys. Take care, and don't get dropped down a big hole by a devil. Don't do it. We'll see you next week. Bye bye. See you later, guys. Bye. 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 <laughs>